Hit me with hurry up, cause my Bang. son and my nephew Bang. gonna murder some gang. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's happening with y'all people after the day? Salute to the chat straight out top. Man, first of all, salute to my mods out top, man. Salute to the mods. Salute to the gang gang. Now we got to salute to who's in the chat tonight, man. Y'all know what it is. Grown man talking Uh, first night, Monday night. Y'all know we go live Monday through Thursday nights, uh, 10, 10 to 1, 1 a.m. Uh, we touch in on topics for us, community topics and, and other things like that, man. Come in the chat. Salute to Antoinette, Let's G, Miss Wells, D Rose, and uh, in my opinion, Precious. Salute. Well, let me see who else in here. Kimbo in here. Salute. Brazy. Salute. Who else in here? Let's see. Let's go through KK Hill. Salute. Kimberly. Salute. Sabrina. Salute. Room Shaker. Salute. Uncle Charles, my boy. And salute. Michelle. Salute. Rod. Salute. Uranus. Salute. Salute to everybody in the chat. If you coming in, hit that like button. The rules over here. You entitled G Money. Salute, bro. Uh, you entitled to your own opinion. We can agree to disagree, disagree to agree. As long as you uh voice your opinion respectfully, and I do mean respectfully, you are more than welcome over here and on this panel, man. Uh, how this show go? Me and my panel, which is King Guys, Pooh Black, and uh Kimbo Greedy. We go lie, uh, we go in on topless for at least uh from the beginning of the show uh to at least an hour mark and then we open up this, the panel for people to come up here and speak on it with us man uh salute sandra 420 salute <laughs> brazen salute <coughs> for shit show dust your feet off before you could ring that doorbell man that ring for y'all goofies out there who don't know what the doorbell is the doorbell is the thumbs so up hit that thumbs but uh the thumbs down button let me know you a hater. Don't be a hater your whole life. God damn, not your whole life. How y'all doing out there, man? Salute, man. Tonight we're going to be talking about Miss Tony Welsh, BMF's first lady in 50 Cent's uh, Get Rich or Die and Try. Was that his only successful album? Then we're going to open the topic and dialogue on other things like that. If you're on the panel, you are free to hit the link and come up there. My panel mates are here. Kimbo King, guys, any of y'all, if y'all are here, y'all can go ahead and hit the thing. If not, we're going to go in. I'm going to give them time to get in, and then we're going to go ahead and speak, man. Uh, One thing I want to say, man, I, I want to salute everybody, man, let y'all know that I'm still alive, man. Uh, Salute to... uh. The, the person that came and checked on me today, man, say, y'all, check this out, man. Check this out, man. Don't don't believe the hype, y'all. Don't believe the hype. Some of y'all, you know, I know y'all look into YouTube a little bit serious than the other ones, man. But I'm sorry. I didn't go live today because I been up all weekend. And Trigger Man had the rest, man. I'm sorry about last night's show, man. Uh, I was already dozing off, man. I know some of y'all caught it, man. I was already dozing off last night. So I had to cut the show short, man. And everybody in the panel went on. Yes, so I didn't want it to be a dry uh, show. So I just ended the topic. And Trigger Man took his Ass to bed and I slept from after class to, to three or four something this evening. So I didn't have time or I had the energy or nothing that to go uh live today, man. But I am all right, man. I am safe. I am good, man, and well rested, man. Uh man, I'm gonna go on and start dialoguing up on this uh topic, man. Uh we all know BMS uh series on stars has uh so far to me has been a, a successful hit man i'm not gonna lie i'm enjoying the show man uh it, it seems to be very way better than raising canaan man i could tell you that for shit show i for shit show can tell you that i can tell you that i can guarantee you that it's better than raising canaan man uh it kind of gives you an outlook on on the history of uh, the Black Mafia family and what's going on from the start to rise, uh, the rise and fall of it. Uh, I'm, I'm into it. To live the great salute. Uh, nah, for real. I'm I'm, I'm into it, y'all. I think it's a very good uh, uh, show. But with that being said, y'all know that now it's a show uh, that we're going to have people uh, from many walks uh, far as that was involved in the organization coming out to get their bag or just coming out to get an interview, especially if they was main players. Salute, Coach. Especially if they were right, uh, main players uh, in the Black Mafia uh, family uh 
mafia, whatever we want to call it, gang mafia, what it is, the mafia, the black mafia family, man. Uh, Big Meech, man, uh, he seemed to be, uh, from watching him, man, so far, uh, Big Meech seems to be the high head, but history tell us that uh, Southwest T, uh, he's more the high head than Big Meech is. But in the beginning, Big Meech, uh, you know, his little brother is mostly looking like the brains of the situation and uh, uh, the one in control for us to plug and everything. Uh, is concerned with with how they started off and when they really got their first big hit, man. Uh, some of y'all don't know the first lady, uh, Tanisha Welch. Uh, she's one of the main players. Uh, y'all don't call on trap queens or anything like that. But we're gonna go on and talk about her for a second. Hold on, let me make sure ain't none of my people here before we go. Okay, salute to everybody in the chat. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, in the article, the notorious Black Mafia family was founded in Detroit by brothers Demetrius Big Meech and Terry Southwest T, a drug trafficking and money laundering empire that was ultimately dismantled in 2005 when the feds finally cracked the whip. Uh, while Big Meech remained behind bars until 2028, Southwest T is already out after the judge granted him a compassionate uh, release last year over the COVID-19 concerns. At 56 brings the foolery of the brothers uh tale to life on the small screen with the with his new black mafia family star series another former member of the infamous crew would get to tell her story uh tanisha tony well south we uh southwest t's former longtime girlfriend and first lady of the black mafia family is one of the several kingpins who star in the upcoming bet true crime documentaries of american gangsters trap queens man uh and we all know uh i believe she his salute to you pimpin uh i believe tanya is his uh uh, his baby mother's the one, the woman that he is with right now. His true love, uh, his 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 child's mother, his son's mother. Uh, she's kind of like playing the background right now so far in the series. Uh, she know what well, she's a cover up person for his family and stuff. Well, his daddy, uh, she was the cover up person. Well, she still is the cover up per person. That's the story going right now. Uh, she hadn't had no no involvement for us in the drug scenes yet. Uh, early in the the first three uh, uh four episodes, uh, but she is shown a lot. She is shown a lot in this series. Like you can tell that she gonna be somebody later on down the road, man. What'd you say? You already know, me, bro. Now nah, for shit show. Let me go on and finish this, man. Hopefully the panel be in by then. Born to a middle-class family in Detroit, Welch became in, uh, interest at the young age by the money and power of the street lifestyle could provide. Uh, could provide. Uh, by 19, she was running with BMF and living the life of a wealthy Hollywood star. Uh, she quoted, I can, I tell people all the time, it's like a habit. It's an addition, which uh, Welch tells uh, hip-hop. Uh, I had it to have it. Meaning that she had plenty of money to have it. She said she had it to have it. Look, she let y'all know that they get that bad, y'all. I had it to have it. I had to have this money. I had to do this. I had to. It was crazy. It's like I was on high. You were on high just doing something, making movies and getting away with it. It's the whole power of it all. The, pe the way people look at you, then once you come down, you're like, what was I doing, man? Uh. So she's saying, uh, as far as her lifestyle, uh, in the beginning, man, uh, let me turn my camera on. She's speaking on, as far as her, what she say, she had no, kids by another drug deal. Okay. Uh, for, for us, uh, her introduction, she said it was like a high man, uh, like it is to a lot of us who have been involved in the game or in the streets, uh, and for us hustling, man. Uh, you know, women, women got the, 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 the trap addition too. I know plenty of women that's about a bag, man. Uh, she was one of them, man. When you, it's like a drug, man. When you take your first hit, man, you just gotta have it again, man. You just gotta have it. And this seems to uh, be the case, uh, with Miss Tony, man. Uh, you know, she was in 
introduced to it. Hell, her man happened to be the guy. You know what I'm saying? He happened to be, uh, as said, just say, yeah, good chest move. Uh, it, it, he happened to be, you know what I'm saying, the guy, the plug. You know what I'm saying? You know, she, she, she found the right one. You know, like a lot of these women out here in the game. You know, some of these women aren't really introduced because they came up personally. It's that they was, uh, playing the background of their man who was the face. And once they man got locked down, they just had to bite down and hold it down and, 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 and boss up. You know what I'm saying? They had to get bossy out here, man. And this seems to be the case with uh Miss Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. That's what we going to call her. Tony, 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 man. She was getting to that paper, man. She was playing the side. So, hell, it's like if they go to jail, she going too, man, because she's uh, a major part of it. She's living off of this. She's benefiting off of it. Uh, she's gaining power and fear uh, off Southwest T, man, as far as uh, the second in command of the uh, BMF family. Uh, but let me go on and finish, y'all. Then we're going to go on and talk about it for a little bit. We're going to go on and talk about it for a little bit, man. Uh, the money came easy, but it... Uh, <clears throat> the money came easy, but at a cost. After her arrest, Welsh was sentenced to 57 months in prison. A far cry from the lofty sentence her then-boyfriend, Southwest T, received, but long enough to hurt. Uh, she'll never forget the moment the old prison doors shut. The loud metal frame slamming behind her, ensuring her her freedom was about to become a distant uh, memory, man. Uh, she quoted, it was the worst nightmare ever. She says at the moment, I was say, on that high for about 48 hours. I had been in those drug addicted years. I was always partying. I don't know what I was celebrating. It was like I was celebrating going to prison. Who does this shit? Me and my friends, we partied so hard. So when I first walked in, I was still on this bender going in. And I had to turn myself in like at 11.30 a.m. in Victorville, man. So uh, she sent her and her friends, like, they, they were taking this as a joke, man. Uh, it was like a game that they were playing, man. Like, uh... They looked at jail like shit. This nothing. They they got money and shit. It went to reality that they weren't gonna be able to have as much freedom uh, as they always have had. You know what I'm saying? She she telling you her last day. She knew it was real. She went in there high, as most people do when they turn themselves in. Let's be honest, y'all. Most people when they got a date to turn themselves in, the first thing they 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 want is some cool papi or wine, uh, some some weed, some alcohol, and some good food. That's all they think about. They ain't thinking about like shit. Hell, I might not need to go in there high because I'm still gonna want to be high after I come down, or it's gonna be a different reality. Cause I ain't gonna lie, from going to jail, like from being high, going to jail, if I'm high and shit, like if I'm in there more than more than if I oh I gotta stay in there, I know I gotta stay in there because I got a warrant, no bond type of situation. They catch me high. The, the high is long and depressing, y'all. The high is you like everything, your ears are sensitive to everything. You just hear boys climb, seem like you're hearing a video, people yelling down the hallway and stuff. It's all kind of crazy little things, like for people's mental health that's going on uh, in jail. So I got to imagine for a woman who been uh, living a lifestyle and, and getting the bag like she was getting it alongside her boyfriend. Uh, the second man uh, in charge that shit. You know what I'm saying? Prison went in a part of the story for her, you know? Uh, sometimes, man, it, it's like this. Sometimes you can feel invincible, man. It can feel like you can do this forever, man. Like you'll never get caught. Salute, Miss Terry. Kimo Savi. Salute. Uh, D-Rose. Salute. I don't know if I salute you. Chris, salute. I see y'all out there, man. Y'all hit that like button if y'all ain't hit that like button. You know, but... uh. You gotta think about this. This is a woman like how how long was the BMF uh rise? Like they they went almost a decade, didn't they? From like what eighty five or something like that. They started at eighty six or eighty five or something like that. Like uh, tiptoe. What's happening, bro? Like they started at eighty five or something like that, and didn't get caught uh until like two thousand and five when everybody went to jail. That's a long time uh, uh generating money, y'all. Like. Like billions, like on a Vlad TV interview, they say Big Meech rented a whole goddamn me airplane and told everybody get your friends and took everybody for free by three hundred people. 
uh to Mexico and had rented out a whole hotel and they went to the same club every night and and and, and black 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 uniform I mean black shirts and and shorts everybody was on the tour and so uh Jesus talk about it in an interview on Vlad man I believe that's the interview it was man what you say from 87 to 2008 like like damn like that's a long time of getting money. Like not happen, not happen, uh, having to uh, do any serious prison time, man. From state to state, y'all gotta understand. BMF, they was they went from the block to becoming a distributor worldwide. Like they are the cartel. You know what I'm saying? They're not allegedly. They are the cartel. You know, Miss Wells, salute. Parker, salute. They are the they are the cartel. You know what I'm saying? That's the cartel, bro. Like. 87 2008 then you're a distributor to not just states around you but all over the united states like you the man these guys had to see seen billions of dollars and it ain't no way you can tell me that the people got all their money like you know it was the story about uh about their cars that they had got seized and they were auctioning in the mouth and people were finding money all in the hidden departments of the cars and turning them in you got to be the stupidest the stupidest mother you know what to do some stuff like that ain't no way that's the first thing i would have done uh when i got the car <laughs> i ain't gonna lie well i felt that the windows didn't come down and stuff and, and this and that i was trying to see if i could see what was behind the door that ain't no way ain't no way that door could not came off man or anything any hidden apartment came off and i seen money and called anybody for it i'm just saying man that's just me that's just me. I ain't no way in hell I'm going to turn in no money. After I don't bought the damn car, that is my money. Back, back to this article, though. Uh, she later quoted, the only thing I could think about uh, 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 or the only thing I could think of was to hurry up and get processed. I wanted to go lay in the bed. I just wanted to hurry up and get processed. But when I woke up, I'm looking around like, wait, what happened here? When I came down off the high, it was worst feeling ever. I felt like crap. I felt like, how do you go from 1,000 count sheets, king beds, flying private to sleeping in here in prison? It was the lowest point of the day of my life. But I had to go through it. I had to have that to crash. So what she's saying is, man, her high went down, man. Uh, She could, it, it's like, she started thinking about reality hit her, y'all. Re reality hit this woman, man. Like, I can only imagine, man. Private jets, man, doing whatever you want to. Wake up when you want to. Uh, leave the house when you want to. Uh, go shopping, buy whatever the hell you want to without a worry. You ain't worried about a bill or anything. We talking about real money. We not talking about thousands of dollars. We talking about people who get millions. Like, a million dollar laying around probably don't really impress these guys. Like, you know... It, it's not oppressing nobody for them just to see a million dollars. That's just a million dollars. We look at it down. He got a million dollars, a bag with a million dollars in it. They look at it like this just a bag with a million dollars in it. <laughs> What's a million when you got a billion? Like let, 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 let's let's be real, man. These 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 guys were living like BMF. I'm gonna give this to BMF, man. Like outside of freeway Rick Ross. Outside of freeway Rick Ross, man. I don't know any other Negroes that have uh, been able to live like cartel and uh, white mafia, Italian mob styles and have this kind of money. Like, And and, and you talk about Big Meech and, and Rick Ross money, that was more than mob money. Mob ain't got billions. They like to think they do, but they really didn't. That's how that's how they got beat out in Vegas and stuff for them casinos. Shit, the bag was too big for them. They couldn't compete or couldn't keep up. And that bag override everything. My little bro, I always say, God damn me. The bag count, goddamn. <laughs> the bigger bag gonna always win. That was my bro always tell me, goddamn. The bag gonna always win, goddamn me. And that's that that's 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 that's, that's facts in this case. Like when you become when you become the cartel yourself, the a real mafia, you know, you're not just saying y'all mafia, y'all are organized, uh crime group that you got going on it's just like man it's women uh aunts uncles mamas some people kids involved in this we talking about nationwide from state to state for real 
We ain't talking about two states over, one state over. We talking about from state to state, man. The black mafia family was 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 getting this money, man. And, and alongside Tony got to ride on his train, man, and get this money with her people, man. She was out there getting that bag and, and getting the money with him, man. And she she G'd up, man. You know, a lot of these guys, some of these guys told and testified. Tell you wasn't one of the people whose names was on any paperwork, man. That's what I respect about her most. That's what I respect about this woman most. That she was a G. She lived that life. She loved it while she did it. And she knew it was a cause and effect to it, man. What she didn't know was a fit to it, man. She knew what the, it was a cause. They were pouring in for a cause, goddamn. She didn't know uh the the effect uh uh uh, uh the downfall of they they their organization was gonna be uh that big. Salute Mass Boogie. Guru, salute, man. Salute. I see y'all. Y'all hit that like button coming in. She didn't have no idea that it was going to be this big, man. So, you know, uh, salute any woman out there that's in these streets out there uh, getting it bad, man. And I hope y'all out there because y'all ain't got no other choice. You hear me? But salute y'all because y'all y'all the real G's out there, man. You know how hard it is for a man to respect a woman in the game because you still the female and the man, the alpha and the uh, beta male thing come up, the aspect come up then. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm a whole dude and you a whole, you know what I'm saying, bitch out here. That's basically how, how, how we looking at this. That's basically how we looking at this, man. Like, for shit show. Like this real life, uh, real life situations go like this, man. So if she a woman and even though Southwest T was her, her dude, it still don't matter if people are taking orders from her that she already don't prove, you know what I'm saying? She already don't gain success. Uh, that's the first step of success for a woman to do. People to take orders from her. You talking about killers? You talking about uh, uh, people out there that's uh, dealers and real, like, Real, real alpha males out there who listening to a woman and who letting a woman get paper in a circle. That's Miss Tony Welch, man. She she getting paper, man. But let me go on and finish this, man. Uh, let me see, let me see. Where were we at? Oh, uh, Welch was eventually uh released in 2012. Now she actually grateful for her time behind bars because it changed her life. As she explains, the ex-BMF member was on such a high she didn't know when or how it would ever end. I'm happy that I went to prison. She comfortably admits once I woke up, all that junk and all that stuff came pouring out my body and I came to reality. I realized that this is not the life. This can't be it. And, and this is not my life. I'm better than this. I've been doing this for so long. I was happy that prison really changed me. Uh, interestingly enough, her first prison was in the middle of the desert, which she took as a sign from the high power, man. Um, hold on, y'all. Of all the prisons that I could have went to, my first prison was in the desert. She continued, once I opened my eyes and went outside, I was in the middle of a sandstorm. The only thing I could say is, why God, why me? Then reflecting on all the pain and suffering I did to other people, myself, and my community, I had that why infinite. Uh, that's why you are here. You doing to reflect on it. You going to live in it, and you going to understand what was going on in your life. You destroying yourself and others, and then my family. Even though I thought was doing a good thing for them, that wasn't a good thing. Bringing them into the life, man. So she had a. Uh, I guess she had like a, a a spiritual a spiritual vibe while she uh was uh locked up in the desert, man. Uh. She did like all people do, man. I'm not going to even lie, man. I'm not going to even lie. Salute to your Uncle Charles, man. Uh, I'm not going to even lie, man. She did like all people. Soon they go to prison, man. She, the ones who really like, hey, they were look, they looking for the prayer. You know what I'm saying? Like, people believe in God when they go to jail, especially if they don't want to be there. Like, facts. And the fact that, you know, a sandstorm was there, you know, a person like me taking shit. It was just a day for a sandstorm. You know, she took it as a, she took it as a, 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 a message from God. See, that's how she, that's how she took it as like, it's a message from God, man. You know, hell. And I'm pretty sure the desert will change your life. I ain't no, no trees out there. Uh, it probably was 
mountains and shit for land. You probably didn't have no city or, or nothing around there, man. Like, shit, like, <laughs> for real, man. She's in the desert, man. A sandstorm is likely to be coming through the desert, man, for shit show. Salute, Pooh Black, man. What's salute. up? Salute, salute, fam. What's up with you, bro? I'm tapping in and listening, baby. You know how I start. I've got to listen for a nigga talk. Man. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm almost okay. finished talking about it. Let me let so, me finish. Look so everybody in the chat too. For shit, so I seen you were famous tonight, goddamn me. Shit. Hey, Kim, I just came from the red carpet, bro. My bad, Kim. Bro. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I seen you famous tonight, bro. I just want to let you know, man. I seen you, man. I seen you famous tonight, nigga. I said my nigga famous tonight. <laughs> Okay, let me go on back in, y'all, man. Finish reading this article to y'all so we can, so Pooh Black can get his thought on him. Uh, there were other signs, too, she stated. Wilf's first job in prison was in the prison chapel. Although she always believed in God, that experience made her feel even more connected to a spiritual being. I know that it was God there, she said. One person out of 600 women worked in the chapel, and I end up working in the chapel. I know that God was saying, I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work through you. You're going to have to call on me. I went there from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day and did not leave until it was count time because I had to go through it. I had to go through that suffering i had to purge all that stuff that was in me for years how could i be in that person i wasn't even raised like that somewhere down the line i got damaged i wanted that life i just didn't understand what i was doing west now works in a prison reform and has dedicated her life to helping others meanwhile uh season two of american gangsters trap Queen queens is narrated by little kim and currently streaming on bt man uh y'all can kiss I guess her episode on Trap Queens uh uh find out about the thing. So uh it seemed like Mistress Welsh, man, she got more connected uh to God, man, while she was locked up in prison, man. Uh she probably wasn't a person that was like she said, she wasn't raised like that. So while while the going was good, you know what I'm saying? She was with the shit. She didn't know it was gonna be a going going bad, you know. So you know, uh Pooh Black, let me ask you this, man. Like, what is your aspect of uh, respect for a woman who in the game and who actually making it in a boss out here in these streets? To be honest with you, bro, um, um, repeat it again for me, Doc. You were going in. I, I heard the last uh, one. Okay, I, I said, what is your opinion of uh, a woman out here uh, that's get, getting her money, getting to some real money? We talking about, we ain't talking about no chain. We talking about some real money, and she respected out here, and, and she got people following her for as goons and stuff. Like, what what's your aspect or your look on a woman like that? What kind of respect you have for her? Like, what's your opinion on what a woman ha had to go through to gain that kind of power? I got much respect, bro, because... Uh... It, for one rule, you got to stay out of weight. You know what I'm saying? And another way, you know what I'm saying? A certain way that she been making her paper. However she came up, you don't know if she got an uncle or a brother, whoever it is. You know, sometimes that's the best way to lead and listen. You know what I'm saying? Because listening to a woman that already got game, that'll elevate your game as a man. So I got a number of respect for it, bro, to be honest with you. And, and, and I applaud it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just stay out their way. And, and, and to be honest with you, they don't really stay in man's way when they get into the paper because they really trying to get to the paper unless you make a certain move on them. That's my opinion. But my, uh, but, uh, for us to look on it, like just knowing like, man, because I talk, I, as I said earlier, like the alpha and the uh, beta come in, I'm an alpha, you a woman and you a bitch and I'm a nigga type shit. Like you ain't, I ain't taking no all. I arrived you. I hurt you, man. You know, a woman got to be like, on all, t if my sister Nay uh, Unique uh, used to say, she ten toes down. She got to be ten toes down to the grind and the hustle to even uh, become a, a not only a, a, a boss but a drug distributor, man. You know, she, like, she at the highest point of the game, even though she with an organization, she still like conducting millions of dollars and, and, and standing by a, a nigga that that's the second in command, which is Southwest T of the uh, uh, BMF family. Big Meech, uh, little brother, man. She the first lady of uh, BMF, man. So, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure they always say that uh, Southwest uh, T is more the aggressive one than the, the one who will 
ran the group by Iron Fist. Uh, so I know she had to be somewhat like his person. That was her dude. That was her guy. You talking about somebody that was 19, like his first love and, and shit. That's what we talking about right now. This the type of woman we talking about. And, and just the ring they had from like 85 or 87 to 2005, man, that's a long reign, man. Like a lot of people could have bathed out the game and, and being nowhere around. Hell, they started 85, 87. I'm sure by, by 98, goddamn me, shit, a lot of them should have just took their bankroll and retired. You know? Now, nah, real shit. shit. Yeah, for shit, sure. I'm just saying, salute, big pressure. Y'all in here, hit that like button. Don't be a hater your whole goddamn life. Not your whole life, man. Uh, what do you feel like, Poo Black? Uh, you we talking, we talking about, uh, we talking about the chick and, uh... Tony, uh, yeah. Tony Wells, yeah, Miss Tony. Yeah, she, uh, it's uh, part of BMF, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's the first you know, lady. You know, you know, that documentary, bro, was so throw, bro, to where, uh... She really was before BMF now. Like, like they all yeah. put it together. It, you know, it was a nigga named uh Meek D, D Meeks, one of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh they all had a little part to do with that. And, and one thing about it, old girl was really ten toes down for what she did though. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, she, know she, 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 <coughs> she came she up from the fifty boy. You I'm getting backlash from you, uh Pooblet. You got okay. She came up in the uh with the fifty boys. Yeah, D Meeks. Yeah, D Meeks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The 50 boys. And he the one he, he had beef with 50. Not not really, but allegedly. You know, he was just saying, you know, 50, if you go speak on it and bring that out, I want you to speak on everything. And and and, and that chick was one of the main people that they was trying to get out there too, because they would look they looked at it like it started from where they started at from her and uh old school dude that put Meeks them on. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, D Meeks was just tripping like, man, you know, y'all can't forget about you know, certain people in, and I just feel like, you know, and I'm with you, but, you know, I believe that some women that feel like that they know the game, I don't think they be trying to demand certain shit, bro. I, I, I think it be the nigga, just like how you said, you know, got a problem with it, how much money they get, how they move. You know what I'm saying? Some men feel like that. No, nah, for shit, so, like, like, that's why I said I salute any woman, uh, Sky Alice, salute. That's why I salute any woman that has had to be put in that, it don't be put because you fuck people who fall in her, bro. You got to think about the niggas that she competing against in her own circle. She doing more hustling to her. Hell, one of them might knock off. So she got to be aware of what's going on. She got moved like a nigga, man, at the same time, you know, and it's going to make her more dangerous because she a woman. So she, you talking about a woman who moving like a nigga and shit and, and, and who don't learn game from these guys and don't learn to study their movements and, and how what well, she ain't going to do. Know they flaws and, and, and know what not to do and what to do, man. So you got think about it like that man any woman that's a any woman that's a, a considered a queen pin or on that statue you know i'm not promoting it to black women to be queen pins or nothing like that or anything like that man i'm just saying man just the aspect man like i gotta salute a woman who who's a boss and a, a part of a major major uh, uh cartel of uh family my uh, uh, mafia family man uh, there's somebody in there her name rings bells in her like she's not a worker she's not a peon, you know what I'm saying? She is actually one of the respected chain of command, you know, in this organization, man. In the first lady, man. Hey, look, check this out though. Uh, why did they so 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 hot so Meach? Are they gonna let him out? Yeah, he get out in 2028. I think he get out in two more years. I think he's going to get an early release. Somebody said something about an early release in two years, but his release date is 2028. But I think he, I think he gonna get released in two years. I think he got getting an early, uh, uh, early release. He gonna come home to some money. Allegedly, Fifty says, uh, he's doing this, uh, for him. So you know, he gonna he gonna gain some kind of respect or some kind of money off of this man. You know, but the fact, you know what I'm saying, that people are, everybody getting uh, to benefit off of what 50 doing, man. Like, did you know that 50 Cent had sent his son uh, to an acting school for two years and moved him to California, bro? Uh, before he, 
Yeah, before he even gave him a role. So salute to 50 Cent, man, because that ain't his child here. The movie wouldn't even establish, the series wouldn't even establish yet. And when he met him, he wanted him to go to acting school because 50 Cent had already had a vision in his, in his mind, man. And 50 Cent's getting a lot of people, putting the light on a lot of people uh, uh, right now, man. He putting the light on a lot of people right now. Like a lot of these people who who were here because of course they black, we black. You know, they gonna forget about black folks. They don't want black folks to have that kind of knowledge, like the Mexicans and these mob white dudes and shit. Like, hell, we supposed to be niggas. We supposed to always be below them. They like they can't let this story of these Rick Rosses and, and Big Meaches and Southwest T get out there in the street, bro. They can't they can't allow that shit to happen. One thing for sure. Fifty Cent did some powerful shit. That young man, a young man, instead of taking a real street pride, a young man did some opposite that a lot of cats didn't do, a lot of kids didn't do. Instead of uh, uh, really portraying the streets and the shit they family do, they put that shit in movie form, bro. To where I really didn't even realize that he was so young because how he was acting. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy that Fifty grabbed him. Because I had saw a Vlad interview, and I'm like, damn, a year or two later, 50 done changed the little homie life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He done, he done, he done, you know, people tried to make it like Meech was tripping, but on a positive end, Meech loving that, man, because that shit damn near gonna bring him home. But people mm. feel it love. For shit show, he gonna bring him home to a bag for shit show. You know what I'm saying? He probably, Meech probably got a lot of bags out here waiting on him. Big Meek's gonna get a lot of bass when he get home. I probably he I, I know a couple rappers gonna give him a co uh, uh M. Like shit, that's how they do with these people, man. Yeah, shit. he gonna get M's when he comes to the house. He, yeah, he gonna get nothing but M's, bro. Real Nigga gonna be dropping out bags to him. It's gonna be nothing but cash in that hoe. He gonna come home to some money, man. That's a, that's how this how they work for guys and stuff because they they be paying homage to shit because it was more like a influencer in the carriage, man. That uh. Uh, dreams do come true and shit. Even though you know what I'm saying, this it's the dreams of a kingpin. Everybody has dreams, no matter whatever your dream is, and you put your mind to it, you can accomplish it, whether it's negative or positive. That's just how life is, like for real, for shit show. Like nah, I can't make that make sense. Like shit, if you want to be the best killer in the world or the best hitman in the world, you are gonna be the best hitman in the world if you put all your energy and your mind to 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 doing these things and stuff, man. It it's just what you what you uh give your energy and your mind to, and, and what you dedicate your time to at the same time, man. Whether it's negative or positive, man. And and for a woman to to get in, I'm pretty sure she had to take some shit in the beginning. Uh, probably a lot of stuff that were happening in the beginning before BMF was even started. It. Motherfuckers were blaming her for it, or or this and that. Well, now nah, they weren't blaming her because she was the baby mama, or, or, or well, allegedly the baby mama of Southwest T uh, in the series. So you know, she she the first lady, like she's somebody that that's holding the, the nigga confining and and pillar talking to. That's who we going home and pillar talking to is one. So you know, she know everything there is to know about it. And she seen it build and, and and grow from from state to states across the United States, man. Nah, for sure. mm -hmm. That's just how it is, man. Uh, Miss Tony, Tony, man, I, 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 I want to say this, man. I don't think when she went to prison, I don't think uh the aspect of uh anything spiritual happening to her, but you know, however she want to conceive it, that's her mind, and she know what happened to her in there. I want to say, uh. From from being a nigga who who don't have had money, man, like it's a difference when you go to jail and you away from shit. I away from a bag for almost a year one time, locked up in just county jail to county jail, man, from different county jails to county jail, fighting cases and shit. Hell, I'm here six months fighting attempted murder charge. Hell, I go here, I got fight a drug charge, then I got violation, then I got another uh drug case that I didn't handle before I got locked up. I got I gotta go fight and shit before I get out of this and that, man. So you know, uh. Shit, I know how they feel, man. You and, and when you come out, man, I'm gonna tell y'all something about jail, man. You can be locked up six months, just six months, and when you come home, it seems like a whole new world. <laughs> Damn, sure do, boy. People be that boy for real. 
<laughs> man, nah, for real, bro. You can go to jail for six goddamn me months, bro, and come home, bro. And it feel like a whole new world. Like you feel so behind, bro. Like this nigga saying something new, uh, new shows and everything else. Go, man. For real. I'm like, like, nigga, like, what? Like, that's just how it is, bro. Like, it, being locked up, and just imagine being locked up from anywhere from eight months to, to 14 months in jail, man, not seeing nothing. Hell, when you when you come out, you way behind. Like, niggas listen to new rap songs. You trying to, you want to listen to something that you would listen to before you going in. They looking at you crazy. But you know what? The great part about it, though, when you in that bitch and you comfortable and you know exactly how you feel on certain little aspects, you know that you know you're thinking about the outside, but you like, damn, it's a little comfortable in this bitch. Sometimes, you know, nigga, they be feeling that shit, but then it be a lot, you know, damn, they like it like outside, and not a little bit if you really got your weight. Yeah, because because what, but now what happens is you get you get in jail mode. I call it jail mode. You get in home mode. When I when I mean home, I mean jail mode, nigga. This your home now, nigga. This the environment you in. Like I tell people, shit. We have club nights and everything in jail. Goddamn, you got your rap session. You got your shade tree under the tree. The old niggas over there playing dominoes and chess. Hell, hell. You got your person making the juices and shit. Hell, this a the weekends. Hell, it's lit, lit. Y'all going to club? What club are we going to tonight? Y'all talking all this? The world don't even exist when jail is sunken in in your mind, man. Oh, shit. Like jail don't even exist, but when you come out of jail and you pop out here, you get you don't got used to living that lingo, the same lingo you was on, and the same swag y'all was on when y'all was on the jail, and everybody else was on when they went in jail. When you come out here, you popping your shit, and you like shit. I'm a couple months behind, man. Let me shut up and observe what's going on so I can catch up and won't say I like the dumb ass or the goofy nigga in the group. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be, so. nigga be looking at you like, why didn't he keep saying it? Nigga ain't said that shit in two years, bro. That nigga, you been locked up too long, fam. You know? Hell, man, yeah, I went, man. bro, bro, look, true story, poop. Like, I got a true story, bro. I went to jail, bro, and was gone for probably about anywhere from eight to 12 months, okay? I, I was just going for county county, bro. When I got out, man, I wanted some weed, man. Went to the weed house. When I went in, weed sets for about this goddamn long for a dime sack of weed. Goddamn, you know them South Dallas bags, goddamn yeah, me yeah, like, yeah, yeah, really yeah them, them, them eight ground, eight ground dime sacks, so they, 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 they granddad, they, they coin, man. When a nigga handed me that little bag, goddamn me, shout like lost my mind, bro, what's that? Shit, bro, well, nah, bro, I ain't want no nickel. I had for a dime, but nigga, it is a dime, nigga. Shit, bro, I'm in, I'm in there tripping with the nigga and shit in the trap and shit. Hell, the nigga finna act like he finna reach on me. Hell, the first thing I do when I get out of jail is go get a strap, bro. That's the eat. Go to, go to the chicken place, and I need, I, uh, baby, take me to, take me to my bro house. So I go pick up me a strap. That's the first thing I always don't done when I had got out of jail, bro. Like that's my in that order, man. I don't think about no cool pappy, none of that shit. Chicken and strap, strap chicken. That's all I want to think about first. I worry about everything else that later on down through the week and shit, bro. Ain't nothing like Williams chicken. Nah, I'm I'm, I'm Henderson the house. I don't even like Williams. That's old Cliff thing for me. Nah, nah, we in the South goes hard too. They they ain't changed up. I don't never eat, oh, bro. I don't never, I don't never eat. Like I worked at Williams and Prairie View when they had their first Williams open. I went up there and worked. Goddamn me, hell! I only worked like three days or some shit. Like shit, it was crazy for me. Hell, I I had too much money going on in school. Like shit, I just was doing something. So shit, it was just it, idiotic for me to even go there and get a job. Goddamn, they ain't get my first check either. I've been trying to get that check for a long time because, like, like some people say, it's the principal. Goddamn, my, shit. Hey, hey, my partner Tony worked up there when y'all think when y'all went to Prairie View, the Al Bright thing. I probably like, know. And then I think he was the managing now. A oh, lot okay. of people didn't get their checks around that around that time. Bro, nigga didn't get a checks, bro. Then nigga, nigga waiting on checks. Now, a matter of fact, I worked up for a whole three weeks, bro. Every day, I worked up not three days. It was a whole three weeks. I worked every day. Them nigga didn't get my check. Goddamn, and, and, and they act like they had delivered it to me. But uh, but back to what I was saying, bro. Uh, you got some people when they come in jail, you can look in their eyes and tell 
the thing being locked up. You know what I'm saying? You can just look at how they acted. I'm pretty sure this is how Tony was, uh, how she was feeling and shit, how she talking about how jail was. I'm pretty sure that's how she was feeling and shit at the time. And you already know, like, like most people go to them church. Some people go to the church groups because they think they're going to, the uh, jail is going to be in court talking for him. Uh, well, he being a part of the Christian, he been going to church. Uh, he, they think the jail monitoring and the, the judge won't know how you be in the church and all that. You got some people who join these little church groups in jail uh, because they don't have anything, man. Because when you join the church group, they probably going to give you packs. Uh, make sure you eat when it's time to spread and help you get commissary. They're going to help you get, you might have some to do something or cleaning chores or y'all might all have different chores or things you do but they all gonna put together and make sure that everybody equally eat so you see a lot of people that really don't want to be there but shit they gotta eat and, and survive in jail so they in these groups and stuff uh to me, I think this is what was going on with Tony. Like, she said she working from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. She didn't want to leave. I think she was in there praying motherfucker. She was trying to pray her way up out of that motherfucker. She trying to pray her way out of all that. Her first day, she went into the yard and it was a sandstorm going on. Hell, that type shit happened in the desert. I don't think it had nothing to do with God, man. Yeah, outside she of the grid. No, nah, for shit show, bro. Outside, outside, outside of the creation of, of, of the sandstorm and, and the mountains, goddamn, everything with mother, uh, mother nature going on. You know what I'm saying, Miss Tony? Miss Tony, I don't believe that it was the spiritual. You were locked up, man. It seemed like, you know what I'm saying, she was dealing with, with jail kind of hard, man, before it settled in to it. But that don't take away that don't salute to it. But I'm not going to let you call. I've been to jail many times. I've been arrested 24 times in life, goddamn me. Trust me. I for shit show, no. Baby girl, salute 20, to you. Goddamn, 24. I've been arrested yeah. 24 times. Yeah. Yep, 24 times. And they had to go sit the day of my life in prison. I don't say the county a lot, goddamn. Don't cost money with lawyers and shit. But I ain't never had to go to the penitentiary. That's how I juvie type shit. For shit show. Hey, but she had that paper though, dog. The one, one thing about them women, dog, they know how to make that goddamn paper. They know how to make that goddamn paper. Bro, bro, just think about it, man. We ain't talking about no nigga in the hood that's riding around with big ass wheels on their car and fast ass painted jewelry around. We talking about motherfuckers who are rent a whole goddamn me airplane, let everybody ride it for free, and go rent a whole fucking uh hotel. And everybody get in the club for free. They drinking crystal on the plane for free. All on this one guy. She come from that type of shit. Like, that's a different type of money, bro. Like how much? How much does it cost to even rent a fucking plane? Like a whole plane? Like how much? Yeah, does it... It's probably about five. Probably about five bands. Probably about twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five hundred. Probably about five hundred an hour. I think. I think about twenty-five. I think about five hundred. What about for the pilot? Oh, for the rental. Five, oh, you, you think 500? Hell no, nah, bro. They losing 500 an hour. Hell, that's one ticket. It got to be way more than 500 an hour. I don't know. It might be. We got we to be talking about like twenty five or $50,000 an hour that's, type shit. That's, pretty, that's, pretty, that's a pretty interesting question. Like, somebody in the chat, man, y'all look that up. How much does it cost to rent a, a, a whole airplane? Y'all, someone in the chat looked that up for me. Nah, for shit show, man. Uh, man, next, man, why somebody look twenty five thousand and up, twenty five thousand and up an hour? Yeah, they got yeah, they about right. Shit, twenty five thousand. I know about fifty. To, shit, depend on what kind. What they they said they was in a uh, what was they in a seven four seven or something? They was in one on big money. The, the whole three hundred people. Boeing seven three seven. Shit. Yeah, bro, it, it was 300 people. He took 300 people, and then, it, oh, yeah, the fuel and all that. Yeah, we ain't talking about the fuel. That's just an hour. And then you got to buy the fuel on top of that. Shit. What you say, the cheapest you ever knew? 747, yeah. Like, night. Like, hey, hey, for hey, real. hey, they right. It's up there, bro. Shit. And you got to pay for that gas and that motherfucker. So hey, you looking at probably just between the plane, probably about three hundred thousand right there just to rent the plane. 
That about three hundred thousand. He spent to rent the plane over a quarter million just to rent the plane and pay for the pilots and the attendants and all that shit. And then going to rent a whole hotel, shit. That's probably another damn near fifty grand, man. Uh, that was easily a million. It's forty five thousand for a private jet with seven people, uh, one way from Dallas to Los Angeles. Shit. Loaded words said, Look, that shit, damn. god damn, shit, easy of me in, in a luxury plane. That's a look. I'm, I'm gonna stay on the ground. Hey, bro, they say Big Mitch won't were mad. The plot, the pilot, the pilot almost turned around because he wanted to fly the damn plane. He felt like he paid for the plane. He wanted to fly the plane. These niggas, you just think about it itself. I'm, I'm trying, I, I brought that up to say. Think about their mind frame, like, that they going through and stuff. Like, they not caring about life anyway. You know what I'm saying? They care about life, but they care about balling in life. Because if, if, if y'all laughing and thinking funny that that the pilot would consider letting Big Meeks fly a plane and he's not a pilot, goddamn, they tell you how they thought about life and looked at life, man. I'm just saying. It got to make sense. Hey, you so, hey, Big Meech, hey, eh. well, they Big said Big, Meech, hey, Big they Meech said Big Meech, yeah, man, they said Big Meech kept standing up. They wanted him to sit down. He was up there fucking with the pilot. So he wanted to fly the plane, man. The pilot told him he was finna turn it back around, and he didn't go back to his seat. They up there laughing. Come on, man, like. And they left the country, yeah. Uh, international, yeah. You right, you right. Loaded words, yeah. They got to be about a million or more, yeah. You right, he right, bro. They even left the country. They leaving the country. They going to Mexico. He right, he right. That ain't in state. Don't forget shit. what the pilot. Don't forget what the pilot showed. He probably come in that rental free hour now. You right, easily a million. Like he said, easily a million. Well, the pilot got to come with the plane. The company gonna pay the pilot. You know they got some special pilot man. He wants that salary pay, man. Hey, he can get he he made he gonna make his salary pay. Goddamn me on that flight, especially once I see a nigga rent out the plane, nigga. We ain't on no regular salary no more, nigga. We boss, we need boss, we need to negotiate this contract right here. This shit, I need to get a different percentage. I got poor people on my on my plane, boss. They rented the whole plane, shit, a luxury airplane. So just think about it, man. You know, shit, but. Back to Miss Tony though, uh, as far as her, like you know, she she seems to found God in prison, like most of the people who were living a high uh, a high life uh uh would do, man. Most of these people who are kingpins and stuff, they come out preachers, man. It's like pimp, pimps and hoes, you know what I'm saying? Just just the aspect, it's another uh revenue to big money. And she also has started and funded her own little group where she helping women. So you know. I salute to her. She's still doing some good. You know what I'm saying? She's doing a lot of good for, is she even going back to help women that's incarcerated get out? I salute to that for, cause she, she always going to be a leader. She always going to have that hunger, man. Uh, it's always going to have that appetite to feed, man. It's always going to be an appetite to feed, bro. That what kind of shit going on here. She always going to have that appetite, man. Like, for some money, bro. I don't care how holy she get. Like, she's not going to do nothing that she can't see no dollars in. Nah, real oh. sure. Oh yeah, yeah. What you say? Don't forget all the champagnes and other things that was on the flight. Yup, yup. Because they did say it was crystal and all kind of drinks. Meech had all kind of shit on her. Everybody was drinking crystal, free crystal, champagne bottles, liquor, everything on her. Yeah, man. He probably easy at at at, at two me. Easy at two me, y'all. Nah, easy is easy to me, man. Before I open up the panel, man, I'm finna touch on one more thing, man. Is I'm gonna open up the panel. I'm gonna start letting y'all come on up here, man, and uh talk, man. I want to talk about Mister Fifty Cents, Pool Black Boys. Matter of fact, Fifty Cents on the screen. God damn, you know this wasn't playing like this, but we are talking about Fifty Cents tonight, so you know uh, I'm glad no, that Pool Black people Black do Black great things, man. Come on, man. Great people do great things. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I, I, I keep him up there, man, because because when 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 you, when you see him, you just know it's, it's something to get said, man. That's how he do all day. They should know it, man. That's the, that's the biggest troll in the game, baby. 
No, for shit, so man. Well, man, Fifty Cent is uh uh wants to shut critics down out here, man. Fifty Cent wants to shut critics down. Who say get rich or die trying is his only great album, man. Uh, Fifty Cent is taking some time to brag about his often criticized second studio album, The Massacre. On Saturday, October sixteen, Insider posted an article about the twenty one albums that have sold one million copies in the first week. And 50 Cent sophomore effort made the list. The Queen's legend took to Instagram account to brag about the exclusion of the massacre which sold a staggering 1.15 million copies in its opening weekend, March 2005, and made sure all critics who dragged the album back in 05 heard him. But they act like I only had one album. I got two. When I focus, I get it all the way right. Green light game. Fifty cents wrote in the caption, posting and showing in the article. Man, that's on uh Hip Hop Report. Man, Fifty Cents was on top of the music world when he de uh, debuted in two thousand three with Get Rich or Die Trying. The album was loaded by critics and is considered one of the greatest hip hop debut albums of all time. That was in the same case of Fifty Cents album, The Massacre. Though, although it reached six platinum and was nominated for Best Rap Album in two thousand six Grammy. Awards, the massacre wasn't as well received at 50 debuts for its ligament 78 minutes runtime and lack of uh co covetous. Uh, during an interview with on Lil Wayne Young Money Radio last year, 50 Cent believed that the album received mixed reviews because he focused more on hooks and song structures than his actual rhyme. People fought love for the things they see are significant. Jimmy Levine was a producer. He loves the significance of producing, 50 said. He loves Dre. I don't give a fuck what I made. Look, I made my whole second album as a 10 record. I knew they wasn't my best verses, but my course was right, so I focused on my song structure, man. Uh, around the time the massacre released, 50 Cent was on a live in Mike Tyson 52 room mansion in Connecticut that he purchased for $4.1 million. During a recent interview with Vlad TV, 50 explained he purchased the property primar primarily for tax purposes. If you don't spend it, you you know the IRS is going to take it, he explained. I needed the expenses, so I ended up buying Mike Tyson home in Farmer, Farmer Town uh, and stuff like that. I was adjusting to it. Man, so 50 Cent, man, got a problem with us talking about his albums, man, y'all. 50 Cent's having a problem, man. We got him coming in, man. Salute. Salute. Salute, Kimbo. Salute, Mayor the Mail. Salute, hey, salute. Hey, hey, hey. I was in here, nigga. I'm uh, over here uh, typing, trying to come in with Brady. Uh, I ain't know I was on yet. Hold on, Mel. Mel, come back. I ain't open the panel yet. Come back, Mel. Get your motherfucker. Get your mother. <laughs> Go, Kimbo. Hey. What's up with you, bro? Cheddar, cheddar, cheddar. What's good? I ain't nothing, man. Uh, just going in. Just got through finishing on 50 cents, man. 50 cents seem yeah, to I have a yeah, he seemed to have a problem with what's going on, how people, uh, first of all, we're going to go in on your baby mama, Tony, man. What, what you bet the fuck you bet not? Yeah, man, we're going to go in. All, I'm going to block all you motherfuckers. <laughs> Hey man, so we gonna touch on man. Uh, she spoke, you know, she got she's in uh American Gangster Trap Queens coming up, man. Uh, mm -hmm. what you think about Tony, man? Just speak on I Tony, man. I love her. She's the best baby mom in the world. Nah, for <laughs> real though. Uh, nah, I fuck with her, bro. She seemed like she was a solid chick, man. Solid person. She didn't, she didn't go out real fucked up. And from you know, I watched her story. They would think it was like a year or two ago or some shit. I seen on uh I forgot what it was, nigga, but I seen on one of the motherfuckers, she was telling a story, you know. But what fucked me up with her, and I see what they downfall was, bro. Them motherfuckers don't know how to uh control themselves when they mm. get all that money. How she was saying she used to go to Paris and go shopping and doing all that bullshit. I was like, whoa, I see how y'all got hemmed up. But it was a time, I guess, when they was getting away with that shit. But I don't know, bro. I see she seemed like she's solid people to me. And I noticed about her, even though she had all that money and shit, she still know how to play niggas. You know what I'm saying? She was going, how she go get the new, uh, 
she'll go to a new how she going to the different times when she move around she get right in with the shakers and the movers they let you know she got a good personality bro because all women or men they can't do that bro everybody can't go you know go nowhere and get in and they got all this work and shit without she's supposed to be dead shit. she would have came to dallas <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no for real. No, nah, no, nah, for real. Nigga would hate it on. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga gonna hate on. If she ain't got no cousins or no no boss cousins or no real no family that niggas know they got to deal with, she she has her. I can see it now, nigga. Hey, man. She 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 cute and all that. She fine, bro. I like her, but we gotta get her. We gotta. We're gonna have her for dinner. <laughs> yeah, nah, for she so she lunched me. That's some them young Scott. She, she lunched like me. Smiling though, bro, like a a a, 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 a black Griselda does some shit. Cause nigga, she had the plug plug from how she was talking, nigga. She yeah, she she herself. Yeah, she 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 was the uh, Big Meech brother, which is on the series. They showed that he the one that got their first real plug. She the woman in there. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, watch this. So you she in the I background for she show. You know how I knew the South T Southwest T was the plug a long time ago. When a nigga named Southwest T, but the nigga live in California, like I was like, that's the plug. It's coming through Cali. Yeah, I had already peeped that shit. That's how they got the fucking with the blue Da Vinci nigga. I'm still one of the blue snitch because they had in blue. Oh really yeah, rough. shit. Yeah, they said yeah, they said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, watch, watch, watch this. This what fucked me up, nigga. I remember when Blue came home. He was riding in the new whip, showing his jury at the studio. He was mm -hmm. dissing Jeezy, talking about Jeezy was a rat. Jeezy ain't shit. And I knew something was wrong. This thing, I knew I see a picture of Meech and Jeezy after he was talking all that shit. I'm like, Blue, shit ain't looking good for you, nigga. For real. But he always, to me, bro, Blue Da Vinci always had like one of them old fuck niggas personality to me, man. Yeah. Was, so that's why I was saying nigga probably did snitch. But old girl, man, just listen to her story the way. When you that far in the game, bro, you gotta have a certain type of personality about yourself to make people even fuck with you. So she had to be super side to be able to just tell the plug, hey man, I need a boatload, man. Have it delivered her or whatever. Nigga, people but, dream but, about that kind of pool. Hey, but look, you gotta think about it, Kimbo. She been properly introduced already. Right, she already right. because, because she she come with with the man right so here he always gonna trust it. her if anyway I, uh, if you get to fucking with the wrong plug i said the wrong plug but a lot of motherfuckers they tell you they don't do business with women at all mm. some of them don't like to do business with women but i guess if they seen her and know how she moved they was like this ain't no regular motherfucking woman <laughs> that's what yeah. i said hey that's what i said kimbo because the plug, because uh, if the plug was really a woman that they met uh, in the beginning, a woman gonna connect anytime that, in, anytime, anytime that a, a woman, I mean, uh, the man getting out of line, that plug might reach out to the woman to tell her, man, you need to get them in line or something. So it probably was a favor for a favor type thing. Yeah, yeah, and then too, one thing about them people, nigga, they like money. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they like money. They don't, and people be saying. Well, they don't fuck with these people. They don't fuck with this kind of people. That's because you're not in the loop. That's why you yeah. think that. You nigga, ain't making the right number money for them to fuck with. Right, you. nigga. Let, if yeah, your grandma got the money, nigga, they have to live your grandma nursing home, nigga. If you try to break it down, they ain't fucking with you. They want that fat. They want a list like that. Right, right, right. Man. They want people that can get, you know, bam, bam, keep it, keep it whole and get it gone. Yeah, like, oh, you like good. Like you... used to do allegedly when he was in the cartel. <laughs> <laughs> man, is that 50 Cent talking to me? <laughs> Yeah, man, 50 cents up here on the stage. That nigga be switching, say, that nigga be, that nigga Neo. <laughs> I still call that nigga Neo. Who was that in the comment? Every time I call him Neo, they talking about, nigga, that's John Wick. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, every time I said they corrected me every time, that shit was funny the motherfucker to me. <laughs> hey, hey, he was famous tonight. 50. Nah, yeah, yeah, old Pooh Black, he on this the news tonight, goddamn. Oh, man, I gotta check my nigga out, man, for real. A nigga Pooh Black didn't even go check out my intro, Trigger. Salute to you, Les G, for that, baby. I seen. You heard me? Pooh Black didn't even go check out my intro, man. Yeah, then they got him an intro. I got you. Pooh Black, I, I want to put Pooh Black. I want to put that old school greedy grow flow on them boys. Check me out, man. Yeah, he so did. Now, now, <laughs> wait, that shit funny though, Pooh Black. Cause these niggas don't know I can really rap that, like, like with my eyes closed and my mouth closed. I'm really good. I just put a little wordplay to first. I was gonna use somebody else's song. But I was like, you know what? Nigga, you're an artist, use your own shit. 
I like that too. I said, I, I said, I, 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 I said, my nigga use his own music, goddamn. I said, that's what he supposed to do. Nah, for, nah, for shit, show. I might, I might, I might, I might, I am Keep time out. Keep, keep time out right now. For all of us. <laughs> I'm gonna say we John Wick one two and three. Oh, I don't like all of us. <laughs> yeah, nah, that, that's pool black. Well, out for shit. So, uh, uh, for us the topic on fifty six. What you think about fifty, man? Man, I, everybody, I'm one of them people that he talking about, man. I think Get Rich Die Trying was the only album that were relevant. I didn't even know it sold. Uh, no, the Mexican no, sold that. He 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 want to he want everybody to accept that buy and sell and people might just bought it just because get rich or die trying they was going hard so they felt like the second album was gonna go like that you were one of them bro man hell no nah, I ain't never been no, no fifty fan I'm gonna keep it a buck for hey, you. No, I'm gonna talk about like my nigga hey Joey fifty fifth Street I'm gonna keep it four hundred forty fourth Street <laughs> nah but watch I ain't never hey, been no fifty I'm fan bro. I, I guess cause. I think when 50 popped, I think I was like in a pen or some shit. Like it was that in the club shit. That was all right, jam. That many men, that was all right, jam. But after that, man, I can tell you shit else. I, I ain't never been no 50 fan. Nah, that first, that first album, I ain't gonna lie. That first album, I rocked that whole. I, yeah, that I, whole I, I missed it, but when I went back, I, I got say, all, I I got all 17, Kimbo. I got all mm -hmm. 17. Even a mix. Hold on, whoa. God damn. They, they, they got 17 albums, bro. Include the mixtapes, baby. Include the mixtapes. Include the mixtapes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, include right, the I ain't gonna start no chatter, fam. Include the mixtapes, bro. You gonna throw I them away or you gonna keep them? Yeah, I got it all, baby. For real. No, I, I ain't gonna lie. I never did. I guess because. Nah, like, he went my like, guy. Like know, that. When it come to New York, hey, man, my guy is that goddamn Jada Kiss, man. I'm more into I like the lyrics and shit, metaphors. I wanna hear a nigga play with yeah. them word play and shit. Yeah. He, he cool, but it's like straight up. I remember. Matter of fact, he had a jam recently. That's why, kind of like, hey, hey, that's why I listen to Nas and Jay because yeah. they play with them words. There's a bunch of them, nigga. Like with the, with the battle, nigga. I thought, uh, not to get out of the subject, but I thought, uh, KRS One was gonna murder motherfucking me. Remember, I said I thought it was gonna be all right. Bro, I missed that hoe, bro. I missed that hoe. I missed that hoe, bro. I, you know, I gotta go Man, watch. We got, we got Big Daddy Kane fucked up. That's still a smooth. Y'all got, y'all got Big Daddy Kane fucked up. I told y'all that Big Daddy Kane was the nigga. Y'all no, remember no, I said it? Say he was the nigga, but I thought wordplay wise. Shit, I did. I say, I say the nigga gonna come with this uh, uh, uh boom bap, did it, but it's hey, different. Did it, after did we know one, after we heard. The er allegedly the Africa Bambada got you too. All the motherfucking lyrics don't impress me no motherfucking more. Criminal minded. <laughs> but you know what I had to think about, bro? When I went back and, and researched my old Karis one shit, I went back because I had forgot a lot of shit. And I heard that versus battle, I forgot. Nigga, that was like really one of the first teachers for us letting niggas know that this game fucking us off. When that criminal minded album, all that love gonna get you. All that shit, man. That nigga was giving some real game. Yeah, for real, giving some real game. Y'all hold on. I'm finna open up the panel about five minutes, y'all. Y'all hold on. You bet. Stay, stay right there. I'm opening five minutes. No, but I told y'all because Big Daddy Kane, he a performer to me and shit. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I grew up kind of listening to Big Daddy because my my daddy thought he was Big Daddy Kane. He called himself cool. He called himself cool Modi. He walk around some big shades and shit in Adidas suits and shit on and shit when I was a little kid and shit. So I, I grew up listening to Big Daddy Kane and shit. And I don't listen to KRS one. And hell, if I had to pick, I was gonna pick I, I'm gonna pick Big Daddy Kane to listen to shit. I had a Big Daddy Kane cassette tapes and shit. I ain't gonna I lie. I'm more of a I fan fuck with Big, Big Daddy. You know, Big Daddy Kane more of a player. You know, latest man. Style. Yeah, that, that's why I fuck you know, with that, him. That's why I liked him more than Karis One. They were just a bunch of dumb, broke niggas with words. Bro, bro, man, uh, I got uh, I don't know. He was running around the hood for a while. I don't know. You know, JT, man. Uh, JT, he, he from uh Greenville. Uh, JT, man, he 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 died, man. Uh. And I, he was the first nigga that I ever wanted to be like, man. Like I seen that nigga in some white shorts, bro, with a white Kango hat on. He had one of them gold bang. And then they was sitting on the corner. He was holding his wine, bro, with his head up and car was blowing by, blowing at him, bro. I was like in second grade, bro. That's the first <laughs> nigga that I had wanted to be like, bro. Like, and he he used to mess with my auntie, so bro, I like 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 early in life, like 
like far as macking and shit, I learned it from him at a young age, bro. Like the nigga was teaching me like grown yeah. shit and how to how to talk to women and shit, not girls. He would teach me how to like talk to women and shit. I just studied his swag for a long time, bro. It's like the nigga had an aura around him, bro. Like the yeah, nigga I was know, glowing. Exactly what you're talking about. You, you know what I'm saying? I you know that first nigga you see in the hood. I picked up like, yeah. pieces from different niggas around the hood. My partner OG, man, Rod, Rod Savannah, man, Rod, he just came, got home from doing, I think he did 21 or 26 years for murder, and it fucked me up, a fool told me, he said, man, and then wasn't even none of my motherfucking business, I was helping somebody else. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, the way, the respect factor, that was a nigga, I always wanted that type of respect, like I know niggas didn't play with him, or he wasn't no disrespectful dude or nothing, but Shit, he was out trained the motherfucking go. So I know what you're talking about. It'd be people you run across. That's how we make who yeah. we are. We run up, we pick up shit, the shit that we like, we keep it. The shit we don't like, we throw it away. Right. That helped us he, build our personality. Bro, he used to have a little nine tucked in on his short. He the first nigga to talk me about dope and shit. What dope? Like he would teach me what 50 and Don Rock. He he have he had me put he'll put in a matchbox, tell me, take it around the corner and give me a little change. Oh, nice I mean, yeah, bro, like like take me to the streets. <laughs> yeah, bro, like and my first day thing hey, shooting the gun and everything. You get it in. Hey. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like my first time ever popping a gun in somebody's backyard was in his backyard, bro. Like, like you, had, you, had, like, you had that old nigga that be turning you on to all the wrong shit sometimes. Yeah. And, and I and I gravitated it. to it. Then my uncle was already a gangster. It made me like relevate more than my I looked at my uncle. My uncle kind of had that like muscle. Like niggas didn't fuck right. with him, man. He he'll take take your life type shit, man. Like, I and I know, I'm pretty sure everybody nice everybody, but a lot of people was uh you know came across motherfuckers like that that impacted their life. And then that's the fucked up part. But they were fucked up though, bro. Well, that that, that ain't good. good. We choose, I'm gonna say what we call good. Think about the people coming around they, they other uncle that's and all that shit. And they be picking up them kind of ways and shit. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying like that. That's just how impressions go. Now everybody and Rock Kim, Rock. Now Rock Kim was one of the coldest motherfucker to touch the mic, Jack. Nah, for shit, so but 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 bro, like it's fucked up. Like this was seen to happen with Tony and shit. Like she uh -huh. got she 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 just gravitated to that energy and shit because. But, the first two things I seen in life that I love, man, was the football and a gangster, bro. Yeah, like just, yeah. just, just fat, man. They, just to see that nigga sitting in my granddaddy's driveway, just to see how girls were talking to that nigga and to see that nigga, bro. I wanted to be just like yeah, I. Yeah. I used to walk and dip like that nigga and shit, bro. Like, like everything that nigga did. Like people used to call me little JT. Like I used to do to my uncle. Check that shit. Got that one. My, <laughs> what? One. My, uncle, what? Uh -uh. Hey. Hey, once I seen that nigga bad down to my uncle, bro, that was like the worst day of my life, man. I couldn't believe it. I was like, damn, man. Shit, I I, I came to the park with him, and that nigga asked him, what the fuck he doing with my nephew? God damn it. Checked in and talked bad to him. And I seen how nervous the nigga was and, and talked his way up out of it. And, and that nigga let, let my uncle take me off with him and threw my uncle threw him in the, in the car with him and turned that music yeah, off. He knew not to step on family shit. He knew not to come in, not to come in between family. Bro, I, I, I didn't never look at him on the side like, damn, man, shit. I thought hey, he was tougher on, than wait, my wait, uncle. Trigger. Wait, Trigger, what about... When you're a young nigga and it be a nigga, every time you see him, he always got his gun. He always woofing. He always talking about what he going to do to somebody, talking loud. And you Like the niggas so on YouTube. Like the yeah, niggas yeah, on yeah. YouTube. So you young, yeah. so you convinced, like, since he be with them other guys, he must be one of them guys, too. And then Well, now that ain't like the niggas on YouTube. And then you fuck around and see him get on a one-on-one -on -one fight with somebody that want to fight back. And he get his ass dusted like a motherfucker. I, I oh, everybody that. trying to everybody trying to pull his card in. That nigga can't say nothing tough to nobody no more. He Bro, can't never I, say I, nothing I, I tough to nobody. That's this trigger. I wouldn't give no names because I love my partners. We cool now. But man, when I was youngster coming up in the hood, man, it was some of them same niggas that got respect for me now. When I was a young, I used to wear the starter jackets and shit, nigga. Yeah, the pull on. I remember niggas trying to take my starter jacket. Niggas pulled up Dark on me to take my joys <laughs> walking home from school. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, or, or I'm out trying to talk to the little chicks. Old nigga come through trying to check me. Man, hey, I was, hey, I was, hey, I was, hey, I was putting hands on niggas older than me at a young motherfucking age, man. Cause one thing I knew, it didn't take number five pounds of pressure to lay your ass out. So while you talking, I'm gonna so go on Fuck that. They can't catch me. 
Salute, Stepper. I see you, Stepper and Jason after a salute. Y'all ain't hit that like button, and y'all coming in here ring that doorbell for me, man. Don't be a hater your whole life. Bro, nah, for real, bro. Like, I, I, I'm from that time, Kim. I know exactly what you're talking about, nigga. I would tell them how we used to wait at Foot Locker for them white boys to come out. We didn't know what size shoes they had. Nigga, shit. Yeah, nigga, shit. Punch and take out. Like, yeah, shit, I, I did like, it you know out. Your family, you know how a lot of time, a lot of people, family, niggas be talking about niggas. Oh, that nigga from Lancaster, that nigga from Gaul, and that nigga from wherever outside of Dallas. A lot yeah. of times, niggas be from there because their parents probably got a good job or did something good. Might just got their Section A out there because they was like, let me get my baby out the hood away from this bullshit. So I don't knock people for that, bro. I well, salute I, people for that shit. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I grew up in both areas, man. Uh, right. uh, uh the, the hood and Garland, bro. Uh, all my life, man. And Garland, like, I ain't gonna say, man, in my times in the 90s, everywhere with gangsters. So I can tell shit, you yeah. about Garland. My, my yeah, it, 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 I, I, I know. I know right. some gangsters out there. I know, I you know, know, you know, I know, you know a lot of gangsters. You know my kill folk from out there went to Obanya Juice. Yeah, I know who you talking about. Okay, I know, right, I know cousin. a lot of gangsters from Garland. Okay, that's my cousin. But watch this though. Garland went for me, bro, cause that's like coming from when I went out there in Garland, bro. I think, man, I think my mama lasted about two months, cause I was coming from the hood and I wasn't used to being shoulder to shoulder you know with some of these white people out there that was racist yeah 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 bro mm -hmm. i'm gonna share a quick story with y'all this is the one that got us put out over there had to send us back to the grove nigga i'm wild little chicks i like stay over there nigga they at the washing tier washing clothes i walk by and look through the window i just see this white boy little fat white guy here and there he grabbing their clothes out the washing machine just throwing them on the ground stepping on them all this shit I got one of the girls' attention through the window, like, like, come outside, walk outside. Y'all come, like, tell him to come outside so he'll follow them outside, right? Nigga, I was outside that door like I was a pitcher, nigga, with a bat. Like, like I had to bat like I was ready to pitch. Nigga, I, I cocked that bitch back and waited for him <laughs> to step up out there watching the trick. And man, don't do it. Knock, hey, man, I tried to knock that bitch jaw off because at a young age, I didn't like that shit. It was one thing about being racist, but why are you in here? Fucking with these little women. Come out here where these little boys at and come punk us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I broke that little white boy job. Nah, that, nah, that yeah. shit, that shit was after. Trigger. That shit was after. Watch this. I'm thinking like I'm from the Grove. I'm a whoop him. Shit, I go home. We might hear about it in the neighborhood. Nigga, I went home and sat on the couch and that nigga mom and were knocking on the door in about 10 seconds with the police and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, nah, nah, them laws nah, ain't nigga, playing. The police, nigga, the police told us, hey man, uh, asked us where we were from and shit. See, we told, they were like, oh no, nah, we don't have this out here. Nigga went to see, the house and got our ass put out in three days. See, I was uh, I was on the south side of Garland. When I was in Garland, they had the chicken hole, they had tight white click, uh, they had the north side and south side of the bloods and shit. Yeah. They they ran they they branched off from uh, the hunters gang HPB. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. know shit. You know, uh Yeah, I had, it was a, I had them woods too, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. The wood, yeah, the white boy. The first time I, I got stole off on was by a white boy, bro. I had never okay, been okay, okay. Wait, hold on, wait, stop, stop, pause, trigger. So we can say we can admit and say this because I think I got a and we all got a bit of little racism, real racist in them, but I'm not a racist to that sense. Like I can't get along with nobody. But I don't know what it is where the other people live in when they be talking about white boys is scary, white boys ain't gonna Jeez. fight white boys, this and that. Oh, they they might need to come to Texas, man. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, they, they white they boys come down here and fuck with some of these white boys that that, that, that punch bulls and shit. Knock horses out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Country motherfucker pull trees out the ground. Don't even need no track. Matter of fact, he punched me and called me a nigga when he punched me. God damn me. Shot me. It shot me because I was talking. We were arguing. I started. I was telling him about how I beat him up. God damn. And he stood up and punched the shit out of me. God damn me. When, when he punched me, I just looked at him. I was in shock. I know that, I know that shocked the shit out of you. Hey, before I before I blast out and they were pulling me off his motherfucking ass. God damn me. But I, for a second, I paused like, damn, did that nigga just hit me? God damn. Like, I ain't going to lie. I, I, and he was red. Bro, he didn't run. And then they need like stood up with his hands up, like let's go. Shit, I'm like, damn man, this motherfucker white boy don't know who he just hit. Like, I was I was the nigga in the group, and that, that was like in seventh grade, nigga. I like ran that bitch, like nigga, like I was the nigga whooping everybody, like man, they didn't they just punch me. I'm like, shit. Out of them in they mind, 
They really believe all us be bluffing. What's up, Mel? Melly Mel. Salute. Hey. I made it to the house. I'm home. I'm safe. Hey, tapping in with my folks. What's popping with you? Hey. What you got? What you think about the topics we talked about tonight? I just tapped in. Don't do me like that. Uh, oh, oh, I thought you was. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> man, I think I tried to set up. I, ain't say, I thought you'd be here the whole show, fam. God damn. Why are you trying to say I just up? walked in the house. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were listening while you were driving or something. No, no, I just got in the house. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Well, she came right in, trigger. That's love, yeah, she can. Okay, she well, do you know? We talking about. She he didn't give a damn. Right yeah, in. she gonna hit. She gonna hit that goddamn butt. So, so do you know anything about uh Tony Welch or the BML family? My baby mama. Look <laughs> how she looked at the camera. <laughs> Where my fake no. baby mama is. I'm well, let me. Well, let me let me ask you. Uh, what do I know? You know something about this. What's your opinion on Fifty Cent's uh, first record, "Get Rich or Die Trying"? Uh, to the massacre. Did you care anything about the second album, or were you more the? Uh, are you a Fifty Cent? Like, what do you think about his music period? Like his best album. Do you believe Vivica Fox really licked his? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna be real about Fifty Cent. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I never got into his music. I never did. And I'm from the West Coast. Okay. I never got into 50 Cent music. Music. I never got into a shit. Mm. In these it, last years. You didn't, you didn't go, Charlotte. It's your birthday. Hey. We so you knew the song, but like you never Easter really, he birthday. wasn't one of the people that made you want to hear what, 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 what album. Is it anything that you like about 50 Cent? Yeah, his bitch Cuban Link. His new bitch. <laughs> 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 his new bitch Cuban. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. Maybe. And now look. Maybe I didn't no, really rewind see. everything that been going on, but hey, I just came in from the bar and I was just tapping in with my niggas. But since you want to ask me about Fifty Cent, like I'll be real about Fifty Cent. He's a producer for movies. You know, bigger check, bigger check, way bigger, bigger check. check. Yeah, way bigger check. I, way I, bigger check. Hey, but this bitch he got right now. Hey, Miss Cuban, Cuban putting on. Look, sis, I, I think I think what she's saying in the comments, they saying Fifty from New York. I think she knows Fifty is from New York, but the West Coast is who pushed pushed and produced him, Dr. Dre. Now, right, that's who presented yeah. him to the world, the West Coast, yeah. not New York. Yeah, not New York. That's no. facts. Right, like I'm not. I don't even really know about Fifty Cent type shit. Right, right. I don't even know about Fifty Cent type shit. Right, I, but I know I thought I know about his his woman that he has right now, and I know what she's doing. Right, put 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 Braze in time out so he can't go nowhere. <laughs> hey, shots uh -oh. up! Hey, hey we having a shot, Kimbo, with no shots. Well, don't y'all start that shit tonight, man. Y'all right. say y'all if y'all new over here, y'all ain't subscribed to okay. the page, man. Chris. Subscribe to the page. Hold on, Kimbo. If y'all ain't subscribed to the page. Okay, subscribe to the page, man. Hit that like button. Dust your feet off, ring that doorbell. Over here, you're entitled to your own opinion. We we can agree to disagree, disagree to agree. As long as you uh voice your opinion respectfully, uh, uh stay positive and, and just speak your mind and be you and do it respectfully over here. You are more than welcome to do that, man. We are we we are good over here, man. The panel is now open. Anybody who wants to come in and chop it up on that topic, man. Y'all free, so man. Uh my opinion on 50 cents is i'm gonna get rich or die trying but i did like that movie my favorite movie of 50 cents was before i self-destruct that was my favorite movie oh, of 50 that was cents. a great movie yeah that's that a good was. movie yeah no nah, he did uh, this movie yeah I, so. i've watched all his movies 
Yeah, so no. Nah. I have definitely watched all of 50 Cent movies. Don't get me wrong. I definitely have. Nah, for shit. So, but you you know, you know, uh before I self destruct was my favorite movie because the plot he had, like that was the first movie. I saw I get rich or die trying, but I still picked before I self destruct over because I just I want I wanted a part two. I wanted a part two. And I feel like maybe there will be one after all this, right? Show about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Trigger. You ain't you ain't tell them you ain't tell them why that night when I popped off the camera while I left on one of the shows. You ain't tell hey, them that you trigger. Bro, hold on, hold on. That what happened to me last night. That nigga King guy was speaking so smooth, bro. I realized I was asleep. I just waking up and saying shit, nigga. I said, let me end this show, nigga. Shit. Nigga. Wait, you, you didn't see my text in the group chat? Uh, yeah, you I was asleep already, bro. I was already asleep, bro. I went straight to sleep after that guy, bro. I couldn't I stay said, awake, nigga. I was driving. I didn't, I didn't want to go live in the car. I was driving. I say, damn, I'm making it to the house. I'm going to jump on. I'm going to catch him before it gets too late. Nigga, I, I'm backstage. Ain't nobody. Ain't no stage, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, damn, where everybody at? That's when I, I said, now what, what happened? Where everybody go? It's too early. He you said, know, ain't, no <laughs> nah, ain't no stage. Well, no, hey, ain't no. Hey, ain't no stage. That hey, means it's time to exit left. Hey, I, I, I had been up for about two days. I ain't going to even lie, bro. I was sitting here. I was listening to King Guys was talking, bro. I just woke up and said something, bro. I like, I don't know what the fuck we talking about, nigga. I said, nigga, nigga. I put it in the private chat. I said, King Guy, bro, I'm fucked up, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna make it. I can't even stay awake over here, bro. I'm finna end the show. He like, go ahead, bro. Oh, that's that grind, I like, bro. That grind yeah. make a nigga like a nigga yeah, yeah. His body finally give up. Shit, nigga be on it. <laughs> having so much to do. Hey, hey, and then your ass was taking so long to get here. I was like, damn, where Kimbo at, man? I I can make it if Kimbo got down here making her, bro. I like shit, bro. Uh, I forgot bro. who was that talking. That was it was it was uh what's up, B in hey, my pen, hey. salute. That fool say Kimbo peer pressure. Y'all scarping, you ain't How shit. Doing? Nah, wait, hey, what that was um, what's his name, Leonard? Yeah, and, and, and big homie was talking that night, and I had my head down. I was listening. When I raised my head up, that motion, I, my head felt like it kept on going back. That's when I realized, man, I'm drunk. I ain't say nothing to y'all. I just turned the laptop off. I said, man, this story got drunk. Like this a bitch. Listen to them, <laughs> but hey, you know I watched that cowboy. Cowboys is stretched, but I had smoked so, so much weed. My brother and shit bro, was over bro. here and shit. Man, we nigga here. I'm like, damn, cowboys, bro. I'm I'm gonna wake up the neighborhood. Don't bring up them cowboys no more. <laughs> I'm talking hey. about nigga. I'm, I'm 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 ready to fight for them cowboys. All uh, all them haters trigger nigga. Tell me, oh y'all want to be funny? Y'all need to be humble. Why y'all talking about us now? Bitch, y'all been talking about us for the last 25 years. We beat your team. We can suck my nuts. Man, fuck the people. Now, all of a sudden, we got to be humble, Trigger. Okay, the Cowboys fans can't be happy. They yeah. can't hey, that was a great game. That was a great game. That was a great game. You, you got to yeah. give it to them. They look a whole yeah. lot better. They looking like, that's all I ask people to say. They looking like a football team now. I'm a, that I'm was a, a great I'm game. I'm an honest Cowboys fan. I tell you, we trash when we trash. Right. And I'm a whole 49er fan, right? right. So, like, I'm I'm dealing with the the oohs and ahs <laughs> and the shit that go. It happens, right? We gave, yeah, You know what happened? I think since so many people moved from California to Texas, they can went back to California and they gave y'all the Cowboys curse and we got y'all old curse. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't even really about the curse. It's just like, it's just ball, right? True. I play ball my whole life. I'm a ball player. So, I mean, shit happens to the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it'd be injury. Sometimes your fucking quarterback right, is not exactly. old, or you like you. Sometimes you have people on the team that's motherfucking robots, and you don't even know a knee fake, elbow fake, arm fake. After <laughs> that shit start getting the best of them, they can't move. Like nigga, I'm gonna tell. What's my boy? Uh, just talk all the shit, Sherman. Yeah. You ain't, you see he done, you see he done lost the step, don't, don't you? He used to talk all that shit. He when he yeah. Where? Yeah, Sherman yeah. Right yeah. Now? Hold on, hold on. Uh, Where's after he left Tampa the Bay, he, he in Tampa Bay right now. After he left the 49ers, where is he at? Tampa. He in Tampa Bay. Is he playing? 
Yeah, yeah he just yeah, 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 he playing. He just he just pulled them a uh, guy hurt uh uh, the guy, hell yeah, he start. Hell yeah, he start. He Hold on, he, start, he just get burnt a little more. <laughs> yeah, 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 nah. Yeah, Sherman fucking weak as fuck. We ain't gonna go there on Sherman. <laughs> Man, hey, uh, in my in my opinion, what you think about the uh, topics tonight? Okay, first of all, I'm not a big fifty cent, 50 cent fan either. Okay, I feel like he more hype than anything. Now, I do like his production of his shows and movies. I think that's what he needs to stick to. And then, so just to add on to what she's saying, you know, when they say executive producer and shit like uh, whoever, maybe Puffy, Dre, a lot of the motherfuckers, all they're saying is the end product come through them. That don't mean they got no, uh, they might not have, if so, very little or limited creativity in the motherfucking whole process. It's just because they the one putting their name on it or they paying for the project or whatever. So 50 probably, he gets smart. You know, when you got a, like like, like how motherfucker use their influence, he got a lot of people fuck with him, love him business wise, right? So it ain't shit for him to get the best writer. Hey, hold on, is that a troll out there that, uh, that uh, Max Boogie, is that a Max Boogie troll or something like that? I don't think that's Max Boogie. Yeah. I feel like he's a troll. Share her the same to her, Like, too. I've been feeling all kind of trollish shit against me since I came on, but it's fine. It's fine. I oh, fuck with a hater guy to say smile every day, man. Fuck yeah, that. Every day. Uh, 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 every day. And I dare him. And I dare him. Tell him put their money where their mouth is. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Say, in my pit. Hold on. Hold on. Don't play. Yeah. Don't oh. play. Uh, girl, you be killing. She Max be killing me with these goddamn pictures and shit. Goddamn me here. I'm like that ain't mad. In my opinion, did you just did you answer my question? I, I don't even remember. V, I gave you an answer. Okay, uh, did you give me an answer by Tony? Oh no, I ain't got an answer. Okay, that's what I wanted to answer about. Okay, so, okay, so first of all, let's go with. I think it's. Somebody echoing. Hold on, let, uh, hold on, let me put okay. Mel on me. That's me. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I think for for her to be a strong woman in the game, like I think she's done her thing. Okay, like it's not a lot of women that can hang with the fellas like that and still run, you know, a whole empire like that and not get caught up in a lot of bull. So I think for that. I think she's got to be really, really bad. And I think, too, I think Southwest T um, made sure that they gave her that respect. Right. Like, first of all, when you're in the game like that and you got your, you know, your woman helping you and running this thing, you're not going to let nobody disrespect me anyway. So I think he said that rule in, in that foundation when they first started. So they knew not to mess with her. Like, right. you, messing with her, you messing with all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she my think, one. you know what I think in my opinion too, just watching her demeanor and shit, and from the little bit I seen of him, she had the plug saying she was tougher than him. Oh, it's a lot of women that's that's tougher. It's just the way you was raised up. Like right. You know what I'm saying? Like if you raised around a lot of dudes, that woman gonna have a lot well, of trigger. They probably trick, they probably hung out together or something, or they were sizing up and realized. Oh man, she the real deal. They probably uh, 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 uh Hector them probably said, "Oh man, this uh, uh Griselda Negro or some shit." <laughs> they peeped the shit. Facts. No, nah, no, nah, hell, that's 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 what I said in the beginning about her. I feel I feel like that she already come up with Southwest T. And he he uh he allegedly the uh, iron fist of the BML family. So she had she had to study her man. She learned at home by the best teacher, her man first. And so yeah. she knew how to handle a nigga straight off top by brains in power. Cause uh, Southwest T from the series so far, he like a straight A student and all this yeah, and that. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if y'all ain't hit that like button, hit that like button. Don't y'all be a hoe your whole life. Yeah, but uh, Pooh gone, Mel gone, where everybody go? Okay, that's gonna be it. Damn, what I was gonna say, uh mm -hmm. with like now nah, I ain't saying he was no hoe or nothing, but uh 
we got locked up. I'm trying to think. I forgot which one it was, man. The other cat she started talking to, the BMF cat. She started fucking with another one of them. So that, oh, shit. So that started probably played a part in it too. The Southwest T was mad in the motherfucker. But I forgot the nigga name, but he used to talk on the phone. They was cool enough though to where she'll be around. You know, she still answer the phone. Like I think Southwest T knew what was going on. But he had found out or whatever. Yeah. That's the but that's in uh I don't know if it was the Dexter So it's like in one of them, one of them dudes, one of they uh documentaries and they stories. I don't know if it made it to the BMF shit. I don't know if they're gonna put that in there or not. Hmm. Well, shit, hell. It depend on how many series they trying to uh, make out this Black Mafia family. Uh, they situation. better try to do many. They gonna pay for a fifty shit. Y'all do that yeah. just like Sanford and Son. Because they doing a the teenage boy. Hell, it's a long way from that time unless he gonna skip some years or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I guess if the, I guess if the uh shit, if the viewing and shit right, they gonna keep going. You know, they gonna keep getting syndicated because they don't gonna give you all the money right out. You gotta prove to them you're gonna earn the money. Shit. They give you. I forgot how many series they'll give you to make sure the shit work. And if all that's good, they'll cut some more checks. Shit. Facts, man. I, I I think they're gonna put it together, man. Cause all this money supposed to go uh to uh Big Meach and uh, Southwest T anyway, man. So uh so Fifty already don't show love and, and prove that you know what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure he he getting his 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 uh percentage of yeah. it because he the producer. They gonna make their money too. But shit, I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, what, what he is invested in for us. Just sending the boy, man, sending the big me son to school, uh, acting school before it was even a role put out for him to act for, you know what I'm saying, was just good. You know, moving him to another state, goddamn me, to go to acting school and, and providing a living for him, for him to at least to have some kind of career and promote him or put him on the stage to become somebody and not have to worry about what he going to become right. uh, for yeah. us in life, you know what I'm saying. I got I salute 50 on that definitely i can't do no hating on them man you know the trigger the cold part the nigga had legal businesses like a lot of niggas bro kingpin niggas get caught up they fuck around have legal businesses that's making enough money to live off of it's just that addiction bro it's so hard to stop let's think if you done stacked up two three hundred million there ain't enough money to retire man nigga <laughs> trigger they can't nigga can't stop yeah facts yeah and, and that's hard like 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 she said when she went into jail she went in jail high and shit when the high came down you know what i'm saying she was in in, in petty mode like where the hell am i like Man. like what's going Ooh. on like like i'm locked up like the the sales i i could relate to that because i know what it feel like to go to jail and to hear everything especially in the middle of the night it's quiet in the middle of the night when you come in jail because everybody in the bed and shit so hell you walking you you in there walking around all you hear is like doors locking and closing and, and what jealous about, what about that first night when you spend a night and you wake up that morning and you realize you ain't at home no more right oh yeah Motherfucker no, wake up right. swinging and at the air like, bro, that shit funny. Well, I'm going to tell you how niggas some whole ass no, niggas. They don't want to give do you that no shit. Bed. Watch this male wisdom. When somebody come in, if we was they, up and when they wake up, we would be looking just so everybody can right. laugh. Like, and yeah, look, nigga, you look, still here with I us, nigga. Tell, look, they didn't want to give me no beds, right? So I was just I was just in that motherfucker. And I was mm. like, fuck it. I'm going to lay on this here floor. <laughs> right. yeah, you gotta sleep where you gotta sleep when you go to yeah, jail. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, with a T at the It's fucked up, but it's real. It, it's yeah. fucked up, but it's real. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep on this here floor. Yeah. Find you a yeah. corner, get in your ball, and go and put your arms in your shirt and go to sleep. Yeah, try to get your roll of toilet tissue for a pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, get your roll of toilet tissue for a pillow. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't know. Shit, Alameda County. Look, look. I hated when I fucking got locked up. Right. But look, when I did, I I ain't fucking. Look, you ain't finna. No one's finna pump me. I'm finna sleep right here on this here floor. I don't need to beg for a mother. I don't, I don't want no bunk. I don't want shit. Oh, sorry. Nah, you good? Yeah, I don't want shit. 
Cause I'm gonna fucking make it work. But when also when you go in jail, like like just just when you wake up and come out there out there high, whatever you on, man, you you like God damn, ain't nobody still came and got my ass out of jail when you ain't yeah, made for no, no, no. Yeah, no one still came and got my hey, ass out of jail. Hey, hey, seventeen hey. days. Look, I I only did seventeen days in jail. Look, I only did seventeen days. I don't know what y'all did. Anyone else in the chat, whatever, I only did 17 days. And when I did my 17 days, look, I was like this. Man, you know, I, I don't I don't did months, months in jail, goddamn. Right. Right? All I had to do as a female was 17 days. I slipped. So I I'm probably asleep on first seventeen. I ain't gonna lie to you, Mel. I'm probably yeah. I'm probably asleep. No, I'm asleep. But that I'm asleep on first seventeen. Day. That seventeen, I had a fight. I was in Alameda County. Okay, I was in Oakland. I was in East Oakland. I had a fight for seventeen days. Damn. So I know Dallas. You know all that. But let me just tell y'all what I had to do for my 17. Right. Look, I had to put them things up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put them things uh, up. Man, man said she had to put the things up. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I mean, let's Let's <laughs> fucking understand everything that went on. I uh, see. I I had I had to put up for seventeen days, and it may not be a lot to y'all. And, and look, salute to y'all that done more than that. But look, seventeen days is not. Don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, Rise. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was just the time I had to spend with them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking get it twisted uh -huh. with the shit that I've done in life. But but when they but when they finally caught up with me. <laughs> When they finally caught up with me, mm -hmm. I'll take 17 days. Enough. Then, yeah. For shit show. Let's for shit go. show. Salute. For shit show. Trick it is my, is my nigga if I don't get no bigger. For shit show. Okay. Ah! <laughs> say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Y'all ain't finna do me like this tonight. I don't know why, I don't oh, know why the fuck we ain't. Oh, man, this is Monday night, man. Y'all oh, niggas man. better sober up, man. Y'all niggas are not finna do me like this tonight. <laughs> Y'all niggas sober up, man. Y'all are not finna do me like this tonight, man. I can't. It's fine. Hey. It's fine. Y'all niggas tripping, man. <laughs> I ain't got the last in me tonight for y'all ass. Yeah, I see y'all out there. Me too, oh. Scott, Alex. What'd you say? I understand I everything. everything she on. So he said, what'd you say? I understand everything. Man up. <laughs> Big Precious big, too. We're talking about I don't know about hey. the mess with you in the first 30 days in the yeah, county. Big Who yeah, big Precious. Yeah, 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 yeah. We not, look, we not even, look, we ain't even gonna do that. Look. Uh, for she so. <laughs> yeah, big pressure. Uh-huh. Because you ain't <laughs> big pressure. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm about to fall and yeah, I can't go. Whoa. What's up? Pooh Black. Pooh Black, what's up with you, bro, bro? I was just chilling. My phone went dead. I had pop, 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 Black. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, man, I've been playing with y'all, man, tonight, man. <laughs> with y'all bitch ass people in the chat, man. Man, they in the chat crazy in the motherfuckers. That's why I'm over yeah. here laughing, bro. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna even let them do my dog like that, Wait, nigga. I'm finna tell you, I'm finna I ain't gonna let y'all run my nigga there, nigga. This motherfucker. Y'all some whole ass man. niggas out there. They gonna let y'all know straight out top, man. The oh, ones y'all out there been missing. Max, fuck you, goddamn Parker, fuck you, goddamn, fuck you, goddamn me. Who else out there? I see out there being missed, goddamn me. I see y'all some miss ass people in the oh, chat, boy. Y'all ain't finna talk about my really niggas. Talking about I understand everything they said. I uh, Sky Allen, yeah, uh, Sky Allen, fuck your ass too. Room shake all y'all <laughs> niggas out there. Fuck y'all. KK all y'all, man. Yeah, fuck all y'all, man. Fuck all y'all, man. Yeah, right there. I ain't finna do it. I y'all ain't gonna get y'all ain't gonna do my nigga tonight, my nigga. Y'all talking about not tonight, bro. Y'all. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Shit, what you say? You ain't gonna make a hoe out of me. Huh? Nah, man. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna let him do my nigga in tonight. Right there, we. Right, that ain't yeah, going man, there tonight. Man, you know. You know. We know. We, goddamn it. We know what's going on. I don't give a little time. Shit. Look, that y'all laughing at me. <laughs> Nah, for shit show. Nah, for shit show, man. Uh, 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 Pooh Black, Pooh Black, Pooh Black, tap in, boy. I mean, where you been? Oh, okay, I'm making sure, man. Uh, Chopper, too. Oh, man. All right. Hey, y'all, the pellet is open. Y'all want to come to the pellet. The pellet open. Y'all don't be with the bullshit up here, goddamn. If, be. You are, if you already been drinking, we advise you not to come up here. For shit show. For she show. Well, Uncle yeah. man, Uncle ain't popped up tonight. Uncle say he fucked up. He ain't coming in this goddamn hole. Uncle mm -hmm. say shit. He look like he, he said he he I ain't no telling what Uncle gonna do. He see Mel on the stage. Uncle go crazy and shit. He was hey, Uncle go crazy. Uncle, Uncle goddamn me find that Mel on stage. Goddamn, hey, he gonna go, go to rubbing cool, himself and shit. Hey, yeah, please bring her back up, Trigger. Please, <laughs> please tell Melly Mel. They didn't go to drooling at the map and shit. Hey, Goddamn. Man, Mel, Mel be looking at that nigga like, what the fuck, shit? Mel, hey, he be making, okay. he be making Mel sober up and shit on the show. Goddamn it. That's. <laughs> Wait, Trigger. That nigga will go for talking about a war story. He'll be like, man, the enemy was, they was all around us. They had us surrounded. Then Mel <laughs> come on. He, hey, uh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, like, hey. what the fuck just happened? Nigga, you were just going through uh, one of your war experiences. That nigga, forget all about the war. Nah, he, 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 he come back through. He'll forget all about the war. Hey. Yeah. He'll be like, did I have an AK? Did I have a this? Did I have a that? <laughs> nigga, I ain't have shit. Wait. He forget he forget what he talking about. He, he, Yo, he, he, I chucked out. He, 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 he get discombobulated. Uh, uh, he get discombobulated. Yeah, yeah, he get discombobulated when he see Mel. Goddamn, he don't know how to act. Goddamn, ooh, Melly, Mel, nigga, go to talking with his fingers and shit. Right now, like, nigga, what's going on, man? She got him okay. that night. She, she, she checked him. Go ahead, man. Look, we oh, that can be to all of our advantages, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, man. Hey, that nigga definitely running up here tonight, goddamn. Man, too real, man. Oh, man. Ah, man, man. Man, man. Man, man say she might be, she helping us. She trying to help us. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Perfecto. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but she show. Yeah, I, I distribute. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mel, Mel said she gonna be all up in that VA chick. God damn me. <laughs> it ain't enough. Shit, the bands that took that shit. Uh, she, man. Nah, for she show, man. God I damn me. I don't even really know if it was the bands. Like, it was dark that night. <laughs> ah, Mel, I'm you think that. Hey, hey, uh, uh, one thing about Uck, goddamn me, anything we don't call him a lie on, he don't prove right, goddamn. I believe it was a band. He showed the key, remember? 
Yeah, yeah. You told him what kind of car he had. He's scared. That, that, it, it, I did. I did. I, uh, it was a bad, but shit. It, it ain't like it was uh, one of the uh, motherfuckers on the uh, the, the Mercedes <laughs> Benz lot. He probably got that motherfucker. It was a, a Taurus beside that motherfucker, an Impala beside, a truck beside, a, a Volkswagen bug. That would have kind of yeah. brought a lot. That would kind of brought a lot. Hold on. In a whole complex, right? Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, come on now. Don't do uncle like that. Uh, 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 houses. Now he own a, he, he, he rent his house out. So, but, uh, family member. See, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He he rented yeah, it out to him. Now. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he rented. <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, the greatest night with Aunt DJ. <laughs> Man, nah, wait. They caught up, <laughs> up that game and got that thing, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, with the DJ and all that ass. <laughs> Man, them put, that nigga push up on our ass and everything. I did it. Well, I did the push ups. I know, I know I can give him to cook all of something to eat, Trigger. Mm. <laughs> feed, feed, hey. feed it to us through the screen. <laughs> I, I cook all y'all something to eat. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What you want in my opinion? In my opinion, be laid in the cut back there, quiet and shit. Hey. She, she be back there, and the, her ass be back there in the cut, uh, listening real cool. Say, hey, 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 now, hey, now, in my opinion, be watching the real. Hey, in my opinion, be watching real close, goddamn, because she she goddamn called me and let me know, say, bro, she goddamn. In my opinion, gonna call it. So, hey, don't don't think y'all being sleek. My my fan gonna look out for a boy, boy. She gonna tell me, say, what she don't like, goddamn, and what she see, goddamn. She gonna see, goddamn, she. If it's some real shit, she gonna speak on it. Yo B, yo B, what's up, Mia? Oh. Now, opinion, baby. I'm telling y'all, she did <laughs> What you say? Wait a minute, ma'am. My husband heard you. He said that, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Male turned up in his bit. I see, man. You better stop before you fall down. You know, you better... boy, boy, man. Hey. Hey, boy, hey, Mel, follow up. Like that. Boy, she, in the hey, and boy, I ain't gonna lie, Mel, you fall out that chair, your boy laughing, <laughs> goddamn. I ain't gonna oh, laugh. Look, I got big body shit in my shit. Look. Hey, <laughs> Man, don't show man, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Man, say she got office furniture, nigga from Nebraska furniture market. Period. No, no, no. Already, she ain't got nothing that cheap shit. <laughs> nothing. I'm falling out of shit. Uh uh. Now for she so hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out, y'all. This is my commercial part of my show, man. Wait. Say y'all, y'all let grown man talking panel. It consists of uh King Guys, Pooh Black and the big homie, Kimbo Greedy and myself, Trigger Man, tell them TV, aka Mr. Bang on my head, aka Mr. Outside, every goddamn me where and I do mean every goddamn where man. Over here, you entitled to your own goddamn me opinion, man. We can agree to disagree, disagree to agree, man. Y'all have y'all fun, y'all enjoy yourself over here, but do it respectfully and like grown ass people. Please, that's what I ask, man. Well, over here, we live by that motto, slice gang, glock gang. We all we got, we all we definitely need, man. It's a mob thing going over here, man. A family of her, aka love shit going over here. Love, respect, and lag, goddamn me. So y'all have y'all fun, man. Y'all salute to y'all. If y'all ain't dust y'all feet off and run my doorbell, y'all might ask me what is the doorbell. The doorbell is the thumbs up for you goofies out there. The thumbs down, let me know you're a hater. Appreciate you and salute you for the view. Goofy man, salute. Go ahead, y'all. Y'all good. And don't forget to join the member gang. Yeah, join the goddamn member gang. Hey, it, it ain't nothing but a couple dollars. Hit the member gang. Join the member gang, right. like in my opinion said. God damn it. Don't be a hater your whole life. But make sure you hit that like button. Y'all can join the member gang. Not your whole fucking life. Not your don't whole your fucking, fucking life. Fucking hater your whole fucking, whole fucking life. life. All hope. God, God damn, damn me. You over here <laughs> watching. 
Oh, yeah, are with you your looking ass. Tell, tell them, Mel. Tell them what they looking hey. ass. What they what? looking ass. Tell fuck what them. What you looking fucking ass? <laughs> <laughs> Ha! 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 Uh, yeah. Hey! Hey, man! Yes. <laughs> what you're looking at? You know what I'm saying? What, what they looking at? Yeah, yeah, that way, that way. Hey, I love my family. I'm glad. I look. I just, I'm glad I can be me over here where I want to be. Nah, for shit. So you good, goddamn me? Oh yeah, yeah. Man, you good. We love it, man. She had be you. Turn up. Yeah, hey! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Already. Don't turn up. To, just turn up. Don't turn up. Turn up. Just they, turn they up. Well, she can't turn look, up too. Everything Jeez. ain't for everybody. So I, I, you know, I know what I know how to keep my shit. No, nah, for sure. So you got no limitations of your body on the tissue grass and people and things. Like we always say, for sure. So. No, for shit show. Hey, trigger them slogans. Be real, what you be saying, bro? Nah, yeah. man. You yeah, know, if I say good. if I say them enough, you know, it programming people mind, and you know, they get some kind of positive right, or some good for the head. All over YouTube, bro. People stealing your shit and everything, breaking it. Oh down. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, You know, they, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm proud for it. Salute. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Salute to all the haters, man, and the dick watchers out there who watch me in the background <laughs> and in the bush. Someone had your dick in their mouth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Someone had your dick in your mouth. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Don't say it too many times. Wayne. Man, man, Wayne. Wayne, 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 man. Don't say it too many times. They're going to strike me there, goddamn. It's fine. Yeah. I'll Okay, yeah, we got, we got, we got. Watch how many times they say they gonna strike, they gonna fuck with me. <laughs> yeah, that's why we use man, goddamn me. Man, what they, what they got in their mouth, man? Wang, wang, wang in his mouth. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> oh, but niggas ain't using it while. Hey, let's go, let's go. <laughs> What fuck you what? That nigga ain't nigga, boy. Brave ass shit. Yeah, yeah. brave ass. Let's bring my but brain people up. And tricks. The, 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 my boy Captain Crush being fucking with me strong, goddamn me, you know what I'm saying? Even though they say I'm Captain Crush, y'all, that's my other me, goddamn me. I'm Captain oh, Crush. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Captain yeah, Crunch, yeah. like, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, nah, yeah, Captain Crunch, good. Captain Crunch, that's my homie, goddamn me. It ain't me, goddamn, y'all. Don't believe the story. That's not me. Yeah, don't believe the hype. Uh-huh. You need to make me a fake page so I can go around. And just no, no, no! Don't, fucked up you don't shit to people. No just cut page. people out and say all kind of fire yeah. shit. Just bitch ass nigga, fuck yeah, yeah, your mama right. hope. Your you mama hope. You know why they your kids for ugly? You don't take care of your kids. Just say all right. Kind of shit. Why? You know why that shit won't work for me? Because I wouldn't want them to know it's coming from no another nigga. It don't. It don't count if it ain't coming from me. If it ain't. If it ain't direct, it don't count. Hmm. So if I make an alter ego, man, you beefing with the alter ego. You can't, you can't kill something that ain't real. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it, 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 you don't live by that principle in real life, so it's hard for you <laughs> to do something. <laughs> hell, hell, <laughs> hell. hell. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, hands up. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, well, lift it in. Deep breath. Deep yeah, breath. yeah. Hands <laughs> up. Hands up. Hands up. <laughs> That OG, that OG gang gang, y'all in Dallas, y'all know who's out there. And Uncle would say, Woo the bang, the bang, bye, bye, y'all in Dallas. Woo the bang, the boo, do all that. Y'all in Dallas. Woo the bang, the boo, boo. Y'all understand yeah. what you say. But I ain't seen it. In my opinion, I all night, in my so. opinion, man, it gave me a lot of game, man. We was talking <laughs> up on my channel about. <laughs> by you to etiquette you know I, I told them i know they done seen a lot of people bro they don't watch observe a lot of guys who do the same shit we doing so i just asked them you know to critique me a little bit trigger they some real motherfuckers they don't mind man they gonna let you know man that's why i fuck with them though they taught me a lot of shit bro for real 
So I got to salute them. I ain't, I know a lot, but I hey, when I don't Kimbo know about some shit, shit you going I ain't to ask. What they say about you, Kimbo? They told me I was a bullshit ass nigga. Ah. <laughs> GG, now, now, now they were telling me I need to quit bullshit, you know, post more content like about the shit that I believe in, like fuck trying to please everybody else. Just do yeah. you, do the shit that you feel important to you, the shit you like. Man. Yeah, man, you, you, make you, be you, you know when you when you get to where you monetize and stuff, what right. I tell you to do, man, is, is, is to watch how you talk in the first thirty minutes of your life. Because people like us, we talking cuss on a regular and stuff. Yeah. And the words that you use be like in, in their their red line, or uh, uh, making their green sign, the yellow sign, and stuff. That's why I, I use Nick, Nick, uh, uh, Nick night. And then that's why I be happy. Most people on the panel don't tap into like we twenty minutes in the show. Usually, King. Guys, the first yeah. one in, in the show, man. Where are King Guys? I ain't talked to King Guys today. I yeah, hope I my boy. Yeah, where's King Oz? Okay, so yeah, I ain't doing some crazy uh, content. Uh, 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 daddy duty one, man. Yeah, but yeah. I ain't talked to King Guys today, man. They ain't like I got called and check in on my boy. I talk to King Guys every day, goddamn. So, so I gotta see what's going on. Make sure King Guys. Yeah, good. Yeah, good oh, okay. He, oh, he he had been on he had been on YouTube today. Yeah, he, he did oh, okay. a spotlight on this lady that okay. did a virtual mall for black people. Oh, okay, okay. Long I ain't even get my alert. Well, long as long as he did someday, long as he all right, man. Shit. That's all I'm concerned about. Shit. I know everybody got to get their rest in. Trigger man had to get his rest. And I woke up this morning. The first test message I seen with your test message. What happened? God damn it, shit. <laughs> I don't never even shit. I went straight to sleep, bro. Like, for real, for real. I, and after I got from school this morning, I came home to my ass straight to sleep. I didn't wake up till like 3, 3 o'clock. Yeah, nigga, that rest is essential, nigga. Yeah, for you real. need sleep, right? You for need real. sleep. No, nah, That's the sure. first thing. Nah, aside, for sure. So. Aside from silence, okay. It, it, oh, and no, I, no, 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 no. I was talking. <laughs> huh? I was talking. I was talking. It's Mel's turn. Ah! Hey, Trigger, it's Mel's turn. It's Mel's turn. Mel. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to meet Mel. Go ahead, Mel. Oh, oh, you're gonna meet me. Fuck. Go ahead, yeah, man. Hey, oh, okay. Yeah. You bet not. <laughs> so, man, I gotta flex her thawing around this bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, shit. Boy, I ain't doing y'all. Go ahead, Mel. Say share. what you gotta say. Frick, I gotta share this video. <laughs> you need sleep. You need you time. So, like, you have to shut everything down. Shut the eyes down. Okay? Mm-hmm. You, you need um, perseverance. You need to be able to just be able to be at one with everything. Cut all that shit off. <laughs> I fucking hate internet. Uh, shit, what? What are they? <laughs> what? Can't can? Mel, 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 don't, Mel don't goddamn me. Uh, don't try to boss up on me and everything. Goddamn no, 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 no. I ain't trying to boss up on shit. Goddamn what? No, what, I ain't trying uh, to boss up on shit. I'm just saying you need that time that where like all this. Fucking so look, KJ. Now, nah, for she so now, nah, now, nah, but the whole thing was it was more of a, a mentally time entertaining goofy ass shit. You know, it take a lot of energy to entertain bullshit sometimes. Like you know, no, you know. Say trick. You realize what you just said? Watch this. I went to get my hair at the barber shop early with Red, and I was explaining to Red. He was like, "Bro, you uh, still been fucking with your channel?" I was like, yeah. He said, man, you don't be on there getting into it with people and shit. I was like, getting into it with people. I say, Red, do you realize I got to really, really, really like a be a woman to even argue with her? You got to you gotta earn that from me. You just can't get no argument from me because you said something fucked up. I didn't like or nothing. As long as I stay silent, I win. Because, nigga, that take a lot of energy to sit up. I think about people that be on the internet and they argue people all day, top of their lungs, all this shit. 
I be saying, man, God damn, them niggas got to have, they either on drugs or they got a lot of motherfucking energy because arguing make my motherfucking head hurt, man. I yeah. be want to figure out what's next. Yeah, you, that's how I'll be trying to figure that out at, at, at the beginning. Like, yeah, I don't even want to go through the argument. Just let me know that it's up there, goddamn me and shit, nigga. You ain't got to yeah. explain what you feeling. We just going to go on the hell I be. So, so, like what, so what do they do, Trey? They just be at home, after the argument, nigga. They be punching in the arm, son. They be swinging in the arm, punching the pillar. Or they call the other homeboys who do that shit, and they just talk real bad about you, and they feel like they got a release. Salute, Christy. Nah, for shit show. Say, bro, like, this this how I feel. I feel like these niggas be at home practicing and thinking about shit that they gonna say about who they gonna go after and who they gonna talk about, how they gonna do this and that. That's just that's just how I think these niggas be acting, bro. Like, I, don't, I ain't got I these niggas down. Like, like, like these, these niggas never seen to amaze me out here on YouTube. Like, it's always one goofier than the next, goofier than the next goofier person. Like, Goofy, it, it, it ain't even no word, man. Yeah, that's goofy does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got yeah. we got to figure a, a new yeah, word for yeah, these niggas. Look. What you say? Who raised these niggas out here? Goof true. Remember that? Goof true. Remember that? That's the goof true. It's between me and you, me and you. Huh. Okay. That's the difference between yeah. me and you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the difference between me and you. you yeah. Man. I really get money. Try to get me some. Y'all gonna get a copyright. Oh, I don't know if everyone <laughs> understand that. So, and look, I'm new to y'all, and I love y'all, and I and I appreciate y'all for accepting me for who I am. Mel, you ain't new over here. Mel, your ass been over here by seven, no. eight, nine months. She showed like new. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about she ready to have a baby. Trick her. Yeah, goddamn me. She been over here long enough. Goddamn me. Ain't no one finna have no baby. I'm almost. No, no, we say no. Baby girl, you you know what I mean. I'm saying if you would have been pregnant, you would have been almost had your baby. Oh yeah, she got a time that you been around. Yeah, 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 yeah. She almost been around nine months. That's what I'm saying. Now she been long, probably longer than nine months, bro. Like, yeah, it's been longer than nine months. But what I'm saying is, I just appreciate how how y'all understand that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mel, trust me, we get it, man. We get it like a mother's face. Some people don't. Mm. We get it. Look, and some shit is for us. It ain't for them. Thank nah, you. for shit show. <laughs> nah, for shit show. Hey, look, nah, definitely for shit show. Yeah, it's for us. It ain't for them. And I got a whole thirty-six, forty-five, ninety-six. <laughs> I'm been my, I'm been my well, man, you yeah, man, you can't create no new gun like that. God damn, yeah, too late. Trigger, too late. Uh, what you say, oh, too late? No, 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 no. Hey, Kimbo, where you at? Come on, let's go. Uh, hey, I just saw you. I just saw you, Kimbo. Don't do me like that. What? Uh, oh. What? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> wait, 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 Trigger. Well, my nigga, my mother. No Listen, I'm just talking about it's too late. She already made it up, Trigger. Nah, yeah, she did it. Hey, Chris World, I ain't entertaining your ass either, goddamn me. Hey, you know Ooh. who the goofies is, nigga. These goof ass subscribers, nigga. You know who hey, the goofies is, nigga. Yeah. 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 And we got Mel in my opinion with us. We, we, we ain't tripping. Shit. What's up, B? Where you at, B? <laughs> I'm <not a> good man. <laughs> I love you, baby. Hey, she, she, no, I, man. I, in my opinion, you're gonna be in the bushes, man. I'll tell you, man. In my opinion, she can come but up that's here. That's okay. That's hey, look, okay. look, she can come up here and pop her shit and straight up at the beginning of the. Hey, yeah, but you, I'm talking about you'll come on the show and talk on the topic for about 15 minutes and then get in the bushes on nigga, goddamn. Nigga think she's trick. <laughs> she, ain't, she ain't sleep, goddamn. She listening to that's everything. That's okay. That, we can that's that OG type we shit. We can all sing together. We can't all talk together. Nah, for shit, so. You ain't lying. Okay. Shit, so. so, V, you good over there? <laughs> I'm always good, honey. 
Yeah, man. Hey, man, she gonna in my opinion. That's one thing for she so I know about her. She good, goddamn me. I know she, she is. is. I be having to keep up with trigger. You know. <laughs> 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 hey, we all gonna keep up with trigger. It's hard keeping up with me. It's hard keeping up with me. I'm a, I, I'm swift. It's hard keeping up with me. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> keeping up with me, man. And uh, one day you'll see me, yeah. then you might not see me for another uh, a whole day to the night Mel. club or so. Mel, he had yes. me scared one night so bad. I called Nico. I was like, "Is he safe?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, I asked hey. him. I said, huh? "Why you call me when you get hey, home?" Hey, hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all really how Nico how, how Nico took that. Nico said, "Bro." She said, I know you good, fam. She said, but, you know, these people really don't know you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bro. I know. She said, yeah. I'm just making sure you good, bro. She said, but I know you good. I'm like, man, shit, yeah. I'm great. Yeah, damn, I'm great. Yeah, damn, I'm always good. She's like, but they I don't know you. I followed the life. whole life home. Like, I was like this. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, nah, <laughs> we... Right, now, Trigger Man, I always good. I want y'all to know that I, I can handle yeah. myself. I'm, ve- I'm, I'm yeah. very good at handling myself, man. Mr. Mr. Bag on my head. And forever. then they got into it because, yeah. yeah. But, yeah but, first, but, but, but first, them niggas. We don't talk about them niggas over here. That's I know you can handle your own trick, but it's yeah. always good to have somebody that's looking out for you. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Salute. Salute to everybody coming in the chat, man. Make sure y'all ringing that doorbell all the way in here. What's up, bro, bro? I want to do mail know about that old group, JJ Fad. <laughs> we JJ Fad and we here to oh, rock. Moms like us can never be stopped. Kid names like us, uh, I, ah! I knew it, man. I knew it. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm allowing that what I'm doing. Hold on. Pop, 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 pop. We're JJ Fat and we're here to rock. Rhymes like right us can never be stopped. Hey. Like, I don't know. I didn't know if you wanted me to keep going or you wanted me to stop. I'm light skinned, right? What you say on that? So, yeah, that was it. Super Sonic. Yeah, that was it. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Super Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Super Sonic. Uh-huh. Rhymes like us can never be stopped. Hey, can y'all make sure wherever they place me in hell, they got some weed? Because I know I'm going. I didn't I didn't know if you wanted me to keep hey, going. Mayor, mayor, if it's a hell below, I know I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, you're not gonna go. I'm just cracking a joke. <laughs> Nah, I knew I, I some told me I say man like that. I, I knew you that knew that man. I some some told me man to jam that JJ fan. I hit it on the nose. Hey, y'all ran trigger off. Nah, he right there on the side of the thing, laugh. He want to come back to him, want to see his face. Super Sonic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Beast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look here it go. Uh-huh. 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 Everlasting beats. Oh, oh, I don't know if they can do hey, it. Hey, y'all turn my show into the wild wheel here, man. Man, the trigger super sonic. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Everlasting beats. Super sonic. Super sonic is the word when people start to listen, especially bigger people. Oh, my God. Wait, what's going on? I don't believe it. You oh. might not even yeah, try it. That one that comes to my life, if he's about you, might even try it. Super sonic. What's going on? That's a real song. Trigger, yeah, yeah, super yeah, sonic. Bro. My head hurt, bro. My head hurt. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I tried to do a sheep. Who black be quiet? Hey, yeah, that's the knees. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna have to start turning my chat off, bro, because I be paying these people attention, bro, and they be winding me up, bro. <laughs> 
The chat ain't yeah. shit, bro. They bad influence. They talking about me. Hold on. But Ralph, Kimbo, Kimbo. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You sent me a test, though. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, you did it. I, I was just guessing. I passed your test. Like a motherfucker with, with an A. <laughs> uh-huh. A plus in this bitch. Okay. Supersonic. Okay. And a motherfucker uh-huh. uh-huh. in a bag of <laughs> They might not believe it. They might not even try it. Right. But when it comes to this lady seems hot, they might even buy it. Super. Uh-huh. 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 Trigger, you can't buy these. They can say what I say faster than I say it. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Don't say it, man. That's going to be too much for him. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> You see that was too that was too much that's too much uh information for him to get that fast. What were we talking about tonight? I forgot. Man, y'all gonna have Maybe me hurt. Hold on, y'all y'all gonna have me hearing uh-huh, uh-huh, and super <laughs> sunny all goddamn night. Right. That nigga Trigger say, is that a real song? <laughs> he thought you no. this morning. That's yeah. a whole real song, I, baby. Baby, uh, baby, babe, babe, babe. That's a whole real good song. Man. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yeah, but... Kimbo, you know that song? Yeah, I can't see, though, bro. I'm high, and I done laughed so motherfucking hard. No, it, high, he has to know <laughs> because he <laughs> challenged me. <laughs> He challenged me on JJ Fast. I gotta look at that little uh, crack in my eye, bro. I can't see like I've been. In the yeah, fire. he can't challenge me on JJ Fast. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not. Uh-huh. I believe you. Yeah. Everlasting uh, beast. They can hear what I say faster than I say it. <laughs> you want to say it, y'all? Oh. Oh. Oh, BML fifty cent. Yeah, man. BML fifty cent, man. Baby D. Yo, Kimbo, thank you because that's my shit. Thank you, Kimbo. That's my oh, shit. Salute, Kimbo. I, I, that's I see my you, shit. She turned all up when she when you said that. She, <laughs> she looked at you like nigga. What? <laughs> right, right. Well, yeah. like, nigga, what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she oh, just went in. Know, JJ, that is my shit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. How is hey. he not JJ? Fat? Is my shit. Salute, Kimbo. I love you, baby. I love I got, you. I got, I got good time. instincts. Like I told Trigger, the other dude went right. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. The one we had to get rid of, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, who, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I, I kept trying to save him, too. I forgot. I, I did tell you a couple times. Nah, we're going to let the nigga make it, bro. Let's work. He's just a little different, bro. He's like a little brother to us. We're going to take him under our wing and try to show him how to think, how to how to function, how to break shit down to where people won't be okay. taking them the wrong way and we, shit like we finna shit. play this song well we was on some we was on some cool shit like that we went on no fuck no nigga shit we was really trying to build with niggas that's the funny part right nah, so yeah step with my eyes closed like a mother it's dope good in the mother yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's that? play the song can we just play the song no 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 do not play no music yeah, on my video no do not play no music Hey, uh, yes, it, please do not play the music. Por que? Zaza, Zaza. Por que? Hey, yeah, they're they, 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 they gonna strike my video. Don't play no music. They're gonna strike it. Hey, 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 Zaza El Mota. You sounded just like the people saying that motherfucker shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so this what we finna do. The room say to say sing it. See, what you think about 56? I know the uh-huh. said. Well, I think about 56. Huh? Uh, when I think about 56 as far as a movie producer and all that, man. Uh I like a movie. I like them for the actor and stuff. Get Rich to Die Trying was my first, uh, my favorite album of his. I didn't care about any, every music after Get Rich to Die Trying has been irrelevant, man. But 50, what well, I can't give 50 uh, credit for is 
uh, he has been a, a, a good person for his business and as far as like uh, making it making it work and, and producing and staying relevant like in the world, in the world. And I mean, outside hip hop world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I think his bag is bigger and what he doing in life. Uh, I really don't have no ill feeling against 50 cents, man. I was a G unit fan, so I ain't really that guy too much. I think he need I think he tried to make himself relevant. I think some of his is I think he put some little extra sauce on some stories in his life and stuff like to make it that G unit girl, the tank top or anything. Yeah, I had the vest. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I had the vest. I bought me one of them hoes from the bazaar. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I said I was locked up. I missed that little era, so I'm just wondering how they was rocking. You net? You you not? Hey, everybody got the even the tank tops, like the tank top they had on with the strap and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can believe that. I had just threw one away not too long ago. Hey, bro, I threw one away not too long ago. I already, I said, shit, nigga can't see me, and this nigga might go <laughs> get on nigga ass. They see me in one ego. Put room shaking time out for trying to start that shit back up. He is for erotic. For the best, and they know that we are okay. Oh no, fuck that shit. She put she typing some of that song trigger trying to get it. Go rope shake ain't shit. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't finna do me. It's too late, nigga. It's done, nigga. We done quit. We on some more shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Done, we done gave up now. It's over I, with. Yeah, I hate pledge. Yeah, to, to, tomorrow night, goddamn me. I got, I got, get, I got to get my order back. I got to get my order back. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have, to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my order back tomorrow night, guys. Now, y'all supposed to wait till the last thirty minutes of the show to go in on that bullshit. I got to get some order back. <laughs> She listened to the song on mute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trick. trick, I was seen it. See, I ain't had nothing to do with that trick. <laughs> and jamming like a motherfucking trigger. <laughs> Boy, y'all are crazy, man. Man, I ain't I'm had dead. nothing to do with this shit. Boy, I'm dead, man. I'm I am dead, man. Like y'all killed me tonight. I'm good. All I need is me some cookies and cream ice cream to end my night with some butter pecan. I don't know yeah, which one. Had a few shows. You so don't need no ice cream. Had Dream School, Power, 50 Central, The Old Spark for Life, Power Book. Oh, the book Ghost, whatever. Them series and now Black Mark. That nigga been eating like a motherfucker off that yeah. shit longer than what I thought shit. Yeah, 50 been getting it. That they ain't kind of move that he started in. That shit. One thing I believe 50 smart. He one of them niggas he get around people and he know how to make relationships. Like all that gangster shit and all that shit we see with a lot of them niggas, that's one side of them. That's just who they do and they give to the culture. 50 probably get around them people and know how to uh talk their language, speak business. They and he probably impressed them when they get around him and meet him and they realize he ain't just no big black dumb nigga that he actually smart. Yeah, he uh, he, he he I think he give them hope that they can get the bread and get the money. Yeah, yeah. All right, we see that he bought that money, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. See, see, produced Pop Smoke, then had him killed, allegedly. No, I'm just bullshitting y'all. I just said, yeah, allegedly. I, 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 I heard to the grapevine, allegedly, that he was Pop Smoke daddy or something, nigga. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Some vlogger. Yeah, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear that, Pooh Black? I've been hearing. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? I didn't know he was saying that. Damn, that's, that's a head right there. I ain't know that one. That's a big twist on there. Nah, for shit show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, so, you know, yeah, some blogger guy said it. I know that. You know, these blogger guys say every nigga. It's some. I don't want to say the name of the channel because it's some bullshit trigger, but watch this. I don't know. I am not subscribed to this motherfucker. I don't know how they come across my timeline. Maybe I accidentally... Click them before one time or something. Oh, they might be putting your name in they in they description box. Watch this trigger. This nigga have a video say some shit like uh Michael Jackson found guilty of eight hour Hitler murder. <laughs> or it'd be some rap shit though. it will be like uh Lil Dirt got found guilty of killing 
King Von or some shit like that. And I'd be like, you nigga be having all kind of motherfucking views. I'm talking about hundred thousand views. I was like, maybe I need to start lying. I'm doing to y'all this advice. Y'all give me this good nigga shit. Now y'all gotta teach me how to cheat. Fuck that. I want to. <laughs> you hear me, Trick? I want to know how to cheat the system. You don't want it like that, bro. Wait, you don't want saying, no on, man. You know I'm bullshitting, but wait, man, I'm bullshitting. But watch this. I'm, I'm really. I ain't gonna say I'm amazed, but it's a trip. How many like fake, fake stories, fake shit, and they get like fucking millions of views, and it should be totally incorrect. And I'm like, so, so oh, everybody oh, okay oh, with oh, just oh, purposely misleading people and lying to people and bullshitting, having people in the fantasy world so they won't never have to fuck with the real reality, bro. That's what this shit about. When you a fake person, you can't have nothing but fake stories. Oh, that's goddamn in my opinion. That's why I fuck with you, man. A man, I, 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 I can't you. You know what? A, a, a crackhead was picking up the trash around the funeral home, and he was just fussing because he kept picking up so many like condom uh raffles and stuff. And he like, look at all these. This ain't even a property. He was mad because people are being like using a parking lot to have sex in the parking lot after yeah, hours yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you know it's in the south down there on, on you know, Earth. Egypt, there's some freaking motherfuckers. You man. you know them motherfuckers probably pulling their car into their car garage and parked in the dark, oh, yeah, man. Watch this, watch this, bro. When I was doing no restoration over on Park Road, uh, the end like almost by the freeway, one seventy five, a couple of houses we did right there. Them big old bitches. Mm hmm. Then we over there doing one of them old motherfucking ice to be like on the roof and shit, nigga, like. Four, five store ass house. So if I'm up on the roof doing roof repair, you're not gonna see me. Yeah. And I'm up there with my phone. I'm zooming in. Dudes pulling up in all kind of cars, uh, chargers, scat pack rims, picking up dope tricking with them, pulling over to yeah. the side by the bushes or whatever. Yeah. I'm talking about tricking with straight crackhead dudes and they baby. That's mama. right over there. Where I'm at. That's yeah, where I'm at. Some, some of the people I even know, nigga. I'm looking. I'm. I'm filming. But I'm so much of a good nigga. I was like, man, you know what? I ain't gonna put this shit out there because some of these people. What if I fuck up somebody at home or some shit like that? Like I was that. I'm that. I was that sort of kind of subconscious about the shit. But I could have got a lot of views for that trip. <laughs> nah, for real, nah, man. But nah, I be seeing all type of niggas all day. I sit on the porch. I be live on IG and shit. We be on IG here, uh, going in on IG and shit here. We be seeing out fights and everything. We be watching it everything. That plantation that's house on Park Road. Craig's world. Let me help you out because I like my my history of Dallas. All them houses it is, I'm, I'm, Road. I'm in the plantation house, bro. Why not wait, Trigger? Why them places over there on Park Road right there? Nigga, all that shit used to be owned by a rich, affluent Jewish community. My Jewish nigga, they, community. That was but Jewish before community. that. Them, them houses, they not no plantation house. It happened to be how they built them back then, back in the days, because most people had a whole lot of family. That's back when family was family. You didn't, you wasn't no use for no three bedroom house because all of your family stayed with you from the aunts, the uncles, the cousins. That's back when motherfuckers used to be family. That's the area that we didn't lost, you did. But uh, yeah, them ain't plantation houses or whatever. We do got the plantation. Don't don't think we ain't got that. Hey, <laughs> well, 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 my my funeral home is a historic. That was a historically marked marked that we had to do some restoration. And our ours was Zell's. Uh, before it was Zell's, the Jewish do uh, oh, yeah, house. Right, right. It, it it was it was a plantation house. Yeah, but most nah, of the, but, but but most of them houses over there that you talking about are what you say they are like they the whole family stayed in there all that bro, on death the man. You yeah, know, when I'm working on the mother, I, bro, nigga, them some if if people still had houses like that, my nigga, you it wouldn't be no homeless motherfucker. You won't have to put your cousin out on crack. You just tell them don't come up to the second or the third floor. Yeah, all of the. The yeah, he's only allowed on the first floor. That's how big yeah. the motherfuckers are. You still won't see him. I and Pastor Chris on all them houses over there, man. And so yeah. Pastor Pastor Chris, Chris over there, there man. He, he, hold on, hold man, on you, man. You, hey, whoever just came on the stage, you need to turn your back volume down, bro. You back lagging. Uh, he put out them pregnant women up in there, like the women who had kids and and getting a fresh start. And he put them yeah. in programs and stuff like that. So they're with them houses are now all up and down south and stuff. Most of them houses are are uh, uh teenage mamas. Uh, they got school programs. They go get their GED and stuff, runaways and stuff like that. He put them through the program and then get them in their own living and stuff like that. So Pastor Chris, man, he do a lot of good shit uh, over there, man. Let me see. Is this new? Let me see what our new guest talking about. about. Hey, yo, Mike, hey, yo, still, Mike there. still there? It's still crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's crazy, bro. I'm gonna call back. 
All right. All right. Whatever he's listening to, y'all. Um, he got he got me uh he got me uh he got the volume he need to turn the volume down in the back. Yeah. Or close one of the pages, something still open. That's a big old nice motherfucker though. No, nah, but shit. But hell, uh like hell, we had we got to add it up there and we got a basement and shit. And and before then we had a moderate because the back porch, like you said, they were built for slave, like slave houses and shit. They had right. like the back where the where the slave supposed to jump into the wagon and stuff and shit. Like we couldn't change we can't change a lot to that building because of uh right, it's the historic landmark. Yeah, we can't we can't do no model like we, right. we can't, can't change the windows and none of that shit. When I went to the house shit. over there, we had to put is it better out of that shit? Are you yeah, you good? Repair it. They'll tell you what on the house that you can't. Uh, yeah, I ain't mean that they was plantation read, houses. I mean they plantation style. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you might that's be the, right. Yeah, that's the style. We got two of them jokers over there. We we've been in we've been in that. I mean, I ain't grow up in the south, but my we've been in that uh, neighborhood. My family been in that neighborhood for what? I can't even. I can't remember how long we've been there. But yeah, they plantation man. style. They got all them hardwood floors, uh, tall pillars, tall ceilings. Uh, mm. A lot of them still got like dough knobs, them, them old dough knobs and stuff on the. I uh, got all of that shit in the funeral home, bro. Everything in my building. Oh, big ass staircases in that bitch, mind you, of a church or something. Uh, we got fr we got front stairway, we got back stairway. Back stairway. Like, you got back yeah. stairway. You right. Yeah. And you got front and back stairway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got front and back here. We can leave the apartment room and go upstairs to the break room, or you can walk through the front where, where the lounging area and shit, the sitting room, and walk upstairs. Uh huh. I like that. I, I like that area, bro. I just wish that we could like, cause I know you know eventually what they gonna end up doing is like trying to move us up out of there. So I no, no white folks finna do that. They finna tear up there cause niggas ain't gonna start selling the dope over there. All that new shit when they start building all the new uh apartments and all that kind of bullshit right there. That's how they gonna get rid of niggas. They gonna start making it federal ground where niggas catch cases. They are gonna be federal but, cases. But I don't think they gonna be able to turn them houses. Or they gonna run the, the rent up sky high where niggas can't afford it. Go ahead. Ain't ain't them ain't them houses considered like historical landmarks though? Yeah, yeah, they, they are roll right there. They yeah. not they not gonna be able to tear them down. And then you got like the uh, I guess what's that the uh, Delta House right there in front, all that stuff right there off Martin Luther King. But, before but I'm talking I'm, I'm talking about like more in the uh, in the hood area, like yeah, homes and Irvine. Yeah, yeah, like okay. homes and Irvine back that way. Goddamn, yeah, like that. They are, point, bro. They want that right now. Pay attention, bro. They already okay. what you what you call it when they re uh re uh, remark the land they already don't remark the really land and yeah yeah like like re like making like parts of downtown they, yeah resurveyed the land and made it like push the line where the downtown area is they already don't start building if you go down Irve, you see them yeah. newer houses and stuff like that they already don't build yeah i, I you know what they i, I just I, I i pray that they don't that they can't go through with it, but like that, that whole Park Row area that you know, Park Row go all the way down there to the apartments and stuff. Yeah, but that all them historical houses right there, I don't think they're gonna be able to touch them jokes. No, they, they, they just, over there right now. That's they almost just want the, the yeah, crib. They just want the nigga shit. They just want the apartments in the neighborhood. Shit, here the apartment, the, the houses ain't like the problem. They they want the niggas gone. If the yeah. right motherfucker come with the right money. And want that land. Yeah, rezoning, rezoning, rezoning. That's what they call rezoning. Rezone. Watch this trigger. Nigga, if they took down the Confederate mon uh, monuments, <laughs> <laughs> if they want that shit, if they really want to do it, they'll do it. But the chances, you know, it's, it's it's more chance for them to go somewhere else and fuck with that. It got to be some real important shit. All they got to do is draft some shit and write some type of bill up and vote oh, on that bitch. They'll do it. They, they, they dirty like that. We got a lot of old families in them in them houses. Uh, you know that's that's how that's our people in them right. houses. Right. And then I'm talking about be passing the, passing the house down from generation to year. We do Christmas right. party right. over there every year. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's uh, I hope I, I I sure hope they don't get it, bro. Cause I, no, I, no. I they I they don't want that, bro. They just want they just want them no infested areas where it brings down the value. That's why they rezoning to push them out. Like they busting right. them apartments so much over there on Home Street. That after a while they just finna push them whole apartments down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. The crime, the high crime areas get it first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what they that, that that's that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna start turning down them motherfuckers and making 
some big high rises or some loft type shit, some shit they hope. Well, first of all, they gonna turn the houses in in the house. See over there, it's all apartments, so that's easy. Just turn they down the house there, apartment. Though, if you look, Trey, yeah, they doing it right now. Yeah, they doing it slow. They doing it where it's in your face, but you ain't recognizing what's going on because you stuck in the lifestyle around that motherfucker. You don't. You it, know it, what it else crazy? What else crazy? You know that you know you you say the hood, you stay in the hood, or I stay in the hood, whatever. You know, like in the cliff or whatever. It might be the hood one area. You know, like them because they got them old uh plantation style houses in the cliff too, right yeah, there in North yeah, Oak Cliff. Yeah. yeah. Like so you stay in the hood on one side, and the next side houses what? worth a million or two. Uh, uh, golf course houses. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. how that uh, that's how that park road. You go down to one end. You go down to one end of it. It's, it's like this is all nice houses, big old plantation style houses. I keep saying that, but you know, and then you go to the other end, you you're like, man, where am I? You know what I'm saying? Now you're in Park Road for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it, I think it, I think it's worth the closer you get to see the crest back going that way, bro. I think it's worse about back that way. Like them apartments different than up there by the Blues Palace and shit. Like shit back there they on Hall on Hall Street. Street. That shit tore that, down already. Though. Oh, they yeah, they, oh, they yeah. did a lot of rezoning right now, though, so it ain't the but, same. But shit, it's still them apartments. Still the problem. Still there. Oh, no, like from problems, sir, but that's like behind the, the apartments behind the liquor store. Right, you, you got them across the street over there by pawn shop. Realize about the area over there. Like a lot of niggas over there. I hate to say this, but. They go to the feds and niggas be wanting damn. Why them niggas go to the feds and they and they caught a case just like another guy caught and he went to the state. Nigga, that post office right there, Trick. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the game they play. They'll put a post to put some shit like that or a school or something close to you or church. They yeah. put purposely instead of getting rid of y'all trigger, they'll put something right there to guarantee you get more time when you get caught up. And then we so territorial to where a nigga know it's best to move around somewhere where it's less punishment but we like our hood so much man a nigga hood will be right next door to a school god damn me i ain't gonna say i ain't gonna say where but and a nigga be in that bitch like they uh right next to the police station now they've been yeah. rocking and rolling like they 50 miles from the police trick yeah nigga ain't think about no schools on they, they think about keeping that, that door road rolling. instead of hey i'm about to jump off here all right chris salute yeah, bro I need to uh, say I, this little I, jab. I, I need to say this jab at you real fast before I go. Blackjack piece of trash. Uh, big T. <laughs> <laughs> uh, black, black, black. They, black, they burgers good though. Hey, hey blackjack piece. Uh, piece of burgers the best in town. Goddamn. Nah, nah, nah. We go to Big T for that. We go to Big T for the pizza. Nah, yeah, Big T got some good pieces, but uh, blackjacks ain't nobody fucking with them hamburgers, boy. Them hoes get greasy yeah, and good. Yeah, man. Or Wingfield. I, I I miss around Wingfield back then. Wingfield like fucking with Black Jack hamburger, boy. Okay, look, do you know you 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 familiar with the cliff at all? Yeah, I'm familiar yeah. with everything there. You, you know, you know WBS is right there uh, by the Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, go try one of them and, and some of that uh diabetes uh Kool-Aid they got. That you know, you're gonna change your I, mind about the burger. I am I'm gonna I'm stop by there one day and try. I know what you're talking about. I'm gonna stop yeah, by there and see what you're talking about. Yeah, y'all have a good one though. All right, oh, salute, man. bro. Man, man. man, I ain't nothing fuck with blackjack uh hamburger. I don't give a damn, boy. You go and one thing about blackjack hamburger, ain't no part of the burger gonna be left when you finish eating that motherfucker. You gonna eat yeah, every piece burger, of that hug. You gonna swallow everything and be mad. You gonna be wanna lift the goddamn me thing. Goddamn them how it'll be so good. Eh? That juice be oh, running no, up out of it. Good luck, big punk. Nah, I, I don't know. Now nah, good luck I ain't holding it down no man, more. They got the more weak ass mouth. Good luck, a whole Chinese restaurant now. Nah, ain't finna play hey, yeah. Anymore, man. Yeah, good luck being out of business. Niggas ain't black people ain't in that cooking no more. No. Nah. They got off uh uh, uh uh what's that shit with uh Jackie Chan and uh <laughs> Chris Tuck on nigga hey in that motherfucker now hey Henderson chicken taking over though goddamn Henderson's every goddamn word I ain't really been saying what I I've been missing it you got we got one in the Grove late June Jim Miller you still got the one in the South you got one down Luke 12 before you get on the 35 right there hell the solo got a, a Henderson chicken hell Lancaster got a Henderson chicken oh, shit okay, Henderson. okay I'll be fucking with him a little bit in the side yeah yeah Henderson every goddamn word goddamn yeah, me now the one in the Grove is the best one 
The one in the right. grove, the best Hendersons, okay. and the second one is right there in the cliff by 35. Then the, yeah. and the solo, the third yeah. one, shit. But the one in the grove, shit, mama be be slanging some chicken at that hoe right there. Oh, that little shop is sitting across from the park. That little small one in the solo, a little bit yeah. one. Close yeah, to yeah, right next to the funeral home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, that, like, I, nigga, I fuck with black. I like, I, I'm a nigga. I'm one of them chicken eating ass niggas. I can eat chicken every day, but I don't because. Some I read on one nigga's intelligent, inspiring meme. KK, that's Wingfield. They wasn't healthy. <laughs> yeah, KK, that's Wingfield. That's what he was talking about. They're the one with the big ass burgers. They they known for them big ass huge burgers and shit. Yeah, they damn. Good. They, they all right. Yeah, they good. You know, but shit, I, I, they they used to be my favorite until I ate blackjacks. Goddamn. Right Hell, yeah. it, black. Yeah, bro. Uh, Black Jack's like a bronze burger or something, man. <laughs> shit. Goddamn me. <laughs> bro. That nigga Black Jack, bitch out a whole commercial. Yeah, hey, yeah. Black Jack's like a bronze burger, bro. That like shit. Good. I'm all good in a bitch. I don't know what y'all yeah, eat. I'm, I'm so motherfucking hood trigger. I don't be liking niggas. I like that old fan said shit. Bro, I be going to the most so-called nice restaurants and eating and shit. I be... Man, this motherfucking shit, they done charged me $75 for. They just uh, swirl some ketchup around my plate on top of a piece of motherfucking, uh, a piece of piece of a chicken and drop three <laughs> peas and a carrot on this bitch and told me it was a meal. I'm like, do these people realize they crazy? Uh, like, yeah. Y'all just buying a, y'all buying a style, y'all buying it to a lifestyle. I'm trying to get full. Fuck that. Take me to the hood. Let me go eat some, some shit. I Bro. can get my money's worth. Bro, the most uncomfortable thing that happened to me in my life with graduation night, uh, we went to the Dallas Ball to eat me and uh, uh, my relay team and shit. And we went to the Dallas Ball and ate, bro. And when I looked at that menu, I was like, damn, this shit expensive, man. And then when I seen they didn't have no hamburgers or nothing like that on the menu, I was like, damn. We all, <laughs> we couldn't find, like, no meat. They had that old fancy-ass food, and they were bringing the appetizers and shit. I was like, man, what the fuck going on? Y'all ain't got french fries. We ain't one of them little Cornish hens, bro. We still had, when we got to the limo, we still got, went to McDonald's and, and got some burgers, bro. I was like, damn, oh, bro. Shit, like, bro, I ain't never shit, went bro, back there, bro. waste of time. Nigga, in Miami, nigga on uh south beach nigga are we eating my partner he done went to go meet somebody so he left some chicks with him nigga i done ordered the steak i ain't looking no 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 i'm nigga i'm a baller you know what i'm saying i'm i'm, I'm the man that's how i'm feeling you know you fly it's women at the table i'm, I'm trying I'm, I'm i'm one of the guys right i just order my food you know like it yeah. go. i ain't looking at nothing nigga i don't need to know the price of none of this shit it's me baby groovy girl both Man, them people brought that motherfucking receipt, and my partner, his company, he ain't came back, so I'm gonna cover theirs till he get back. Nigga, my steak alone was like three fifty. Nigga, not including the water. <laughs> she, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck did I just eat? A uh, a uh, a uh, 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 coop happy steak or something? What the fuck? She, I'm like three fifty. Then they shit was about two three hundred. I was like, bro. Take me to Burger King or some shit. I'm not trying to get this bullshit. I can't do this shit. I, nigga, like, I got me a scooter. And I used to drive on the scooter. They go give me something to eat. I, I, I'm sorry now if I'm trying to turn up and want to go do some shit like that. I will, but I ain't finna just be fucking my money off on that kind of shit, man. Just to be experienced. I'll watch you motherfuckers do it. And, that, and that's my experience. Cheers to all of us. <laughs> No, nah, for shit show, man. Like that's that's just like like Big Slump said, uh he must don't be in there like fifty dollars a plate. But my daddy took me to uh to me and my brothers. He he go eat the, here all the time. He took us to a steak restaurant like downtown and shit. And I and, and had, he know I'm cheap, bro. I'm like real cheap and shit. So I'm like looking at the motherfucking uh menu. I'm I'm trying to like I'm paying for this shit and stuff, bro. So my daddy get mad. He like embarrassed and shit. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and, shit. and so shit, every, my brother and them they order the steaks. So when the woman get to me, I say I want a hamburger. But my dad just spit it, goddamn. He was drinking some Louis or something. He just spit it. He said, he said, God damn. He said, we come this motherfucker all that goddamn hamburger. Could have had a T-bone steak, anything. This motherfucker want a goddamn hamburger. Man, let me and, eat what I want to eat. Hey, uh, this was like last, this was about this time about last year, man. And, and we, me and my brothers go to laugh. I said, Dad, if I want to eat a goddamn hamburger, man, that's what the fuck I want. He said, well, shit, it's embarrassing. Goddamn, get you a steak, goddamn. I'm just start when 
when we go out to eat, we ain't going nowhere where uh, they serve hamburgers. So every time we go, he go, he want to go to Papa Do's because they ain't got hamburgers on the list. So he get a joy out of watching me look at the menu. <laughs> he like, yeah, I ain't no hamburgers on there, Doc. Doc ain't, ain't no hamburgers. Yeah, ain't, ain't no hamburgers <laughs> on there, Doc. No hamburgers on there. So we just go. He he hey, he like everywhere we go, this nigga gotta get a damn hamburger. That's the safest thing to eat on the menu, nigga. Yeah, hell I'm you mean to stay safe, shit. shit. nigga, what the hell you talking about? Nigga, I know I know I'm gonna be happy with a hamburger, nigga. Shit, I don't wanna buy y'all nigga getting all this all weird ass shit, bro, to the table and shit. I don't want none of that shit. Give me bring me a hamburger. What you want? Fries? Nigga shit. What other side you want fries, nigga? Double <laughs> side, the nigga she. <laughs> nah, Look, she so. That's how my daughter does. She like, I'll get chicken nuggets. I'm like, you can be anywhere in the world, and you just want chicken nuggets. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, for real, no, nah, for real. I'm like that too. If it ain't no burger and chicken, it's the next thing in the right. line. A shrimp, a right. shrimp, <laughs> shrimp. Goddamn, you got some fried shrimp. She, she like, nigga. mom, I just want chicken nuggets. I'm like. You at J. Alexander's, they sell rattlesnake, they sell all this. <laughs> she like, I just want chicken nuggets. <laughs> Let's say we talking about the same play. My kid for used to call it kid that now nah, for real, man. Like, like yes. man. And then and then and then they be having shots like for two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars a shot. I'll be watching my dad, I'm like, nigga, you crazy little bitch. Nigga, you just throwing away money. And there ain't no way. I'll, I'm gonna spend no two hundred dollars a a shot, nigga, that, nigga. What kind of drink is you drinking, nigga? Shit. Yeah, and then nuka, nuka. They ain't drinking shit but water. Uh, shit, now nah, they give them a good shot. It be that uh, what is it, Louis V or something like that? Something no, like no, that. No, no, it's fish. called it's called uh uh. Louis the Fifth, thirteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Louis the yeah, Fifth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he and he love that grand grandma. Yeah, he get like, yeah, it's like a hundred dollar a bottle or something. He be getting it's like a special kind or something. He he love that shit. Like that. Mm, well, that's his drink. He drank that shit straight. All mm. you need is a little bit of Alka Seltzer. <laughs> no, I was just talking about for my kid. I, I, be so if I, ain't, I ain't never heard no Swift and hamburgers off of, uh, I ain't even seen no hamburger place off of Houston School Road. You gonna make me go over there. I'm around the corner from Houston School Road. Shit, that's, that's around the corner. What they talking about, man, that motherfucker is something else now. That little what? bit of small bit of Swift, the nigga Swifters came from the Grove, and they're right there where the game room used to be at, they used to be Swifters. They from oh. the hood. They end up moving to that little small motherfucker right there on Houston School Road behind the Williams right there. But that shit's something else now. I feel say I ain't seen that nigga here. That's mm -hmm. right around the corner from my house. Shit. That little bit is some more shit now, bro. For real. I don't know. I, I ain't seen you know what's out here. The old Jamaican place used to be on the grove and shit. He right over here by uh down the street from where I stay. Shit, like three, three, four minutes from me and shit. Uh Dez and shit. They oh, had it. Yeah, he over here off of uh off of pleasant and shit. Oh, Goddamn. Oh, okay, that little spot. That was Earl. I be seeing old Earl up in that bitch all the time and shit. Yeah, Earl right. go eat up there. You know, Earl stay somewhere over here too. Goddamn, okay. his ranch somewhere over here off of uh Bear Bear, Bear Road or somewhere over here. Well, he need to let a nigga have the ranch then. He don't need it. Shit. Yeah, don't he, need it to me. Don't I don't wish don't I could fucking tap channel. in to I'm where you at. Go ahead. Cause I'm so far from yes, where y'all at. But however, <laughs> I'm so connected. How hey? Yeah. What you want to talk, talk about? Uh, we uh, 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 we uh, got uh, fat burgers. They say fat burger. We're say hold on. Fat burgers, no, we don't have fat burgers out here. We don't have fat. We oh, have Ohio, smash Ohio, burgers. I ain't got no Ohio with uh white crack or uh, white chicken. <laughs> no, no, no. We got smash burgers. Oh, smash. Oh, okay. And we got rally. Right. And we got White yeah. Castle. White, okay, now now White Castle. Uh, yeah, White Castle. Yeah. Hey, say, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to talk shit. Hold on, Soldier yeah. Slim. I want you to know, Al Beck is the nastiest thing I had ever ate, goddamn me. And when I was in Vegas, that was the nastiest well, meal Al in the Man, nasty. Hey, on, I never ate Al White Beck, Castle. That's that's like, nasty. I never ate White Castle. What's that, them little bit ass hamburgers in White Castle? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. even hamburgers. It's an onion burger. 
Yeah, onion burger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Said you little bit like ass motherfucker. Like onions, you like them or you like they little chicken sandwiches or whatever. I, I, I've I never you see the white look. DC level motherfucking meat, uh, uh, restaurant. <laughs> so hey, how much one of them little bit ass burgers cost? Look, one of them little midgets. It's about a dollar A dollar seventy nine. No, twenty nine cents. Oh, I said 28, 29. Yeah. They oh, 29. Y'all yeah, oh, yeah, cheaper than ours, yeah. Hell yeah. That was 139. Yeah. But they don't yeah. trigger. But, but they know, they know, like, the restaurants by, I'm pretty, people probably to try to get them around here and it didn't work out. It's a lot of shit don't work out in certain demographics. Yeah. yeah Nick, and Burger King probably I don't eat they that shit. That shit is nasty as fuck. White Castle. It's not even meat. It's not 39 even with cheese. It's, it's like 39 with, with cheese. Fries, bam. Yeah. No, it's tw- a regular burger is 29 cents. If you get cheese, it's, it's 39. Yeah. Like, whoever said people that. Because like yeah. cheap, trigger small. We used to have some Damn. Like downtown with them little small cheap burgers like that, but it didn't last. Yeah. Man, I can dro- bro. That's you know that drunk they, shit. That's that drunk shit. Bro, y'all know how much nigga for them burgers to be cheap. I think what they make out here like fifteen dollars an hour at uh, uh, White Castles or something. No, oh, not out here. I heard they do shit. They won't say that yeah, shit no, like high. Here I they don't. Shit, I hear they don't. That. I'm be mad and motherfucker y'all put that little burger through that nigga. I need me a grips <laughs> or a bronze or blackjack burger. It's not even a burger, Trigger. It just was just like a little onion. It's a white castle. It's like a um, it's like a gelatin patty. No, nah, goddamn, man, you tripping? That ain't that jelly. It ain't gelatin. It's gelatin. I'm not it's fucking like, tripping. It's but more like ground meat. Like, it's like some, the meat just not like thick like a burger. Burger is real thin. Trigger. It's like it's like the what you call it? The meat that you make uh fucking ground like ground meat, not the uh the one with the soy meat in it. Soy meat. meat. It's not like meat. It's not meat. even meat. It's not, not even meat, meat, Kimbo. It's, it's Come on. Come on. Meat. Kimbo, this shit ain't even meat out here. I said it's supposed to be. People buying it probably think that's what they buy. I don't know what Fuck it is. I, I, I know this trigger. If you buy it from the store and try to make it yourself, it don't come out right. So I don't know what the <laughs> fuck they do in that restaurant. Okay, look. I gotta put them motherfuckers in the air fry. You gotta I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you how thin that meat patty is. I, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. It's not it's not regular meat trick. It's like that. It. We oh, might no. need to look that up. We might need to look that up. That's a project. No, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Pan well, sausage ass shit. You can't you can't look it up out here because I'm, I'm out here. You don't have it down here, trigger. No, nah, we Texas. We believe we got real, real animals, real uh, cattle and shit around here. So we're gonna get the best beef, whatever Angus. Uh, right. We ain't gonna get that bullshit. You know. Exactly. Uh, try that exactly. Shit down. Right out of time. Exactly. Nah, sure. But uh, well, look, 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 y'all. No, say I'm so. not supporting. I'm not supporting this weird shit out here. Don't get it twisted. I'm not I, supporting this fucking hate out. Here. Hold, hold, hold on, Mel. We we come to the end of this show. I want to salute Mel. Thank you for the uh donation. In my opinion, salute to you, man. Uh, for coming up here. I salute to y'all for coming up here, man. I'm finna move y'all so I can holler at the panel. We finna shut down. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Pooh Black. If Pooh Black here tonight, if Pooh Black make it through the night, I'm shocked. Uh, he didn't make it. Kimbo, anything you want to touch on tonight, bro? Kimbo, you on mute. Oh, I was trying to play. I was pulled black. You fucked it up now. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, I just looked it up. I don't know if they lying or what. They say that shit is made of uh, real meat. Got me listening to people, man. That's fucked up. But they some little funny looking motherfuckers, Trigger. I'm going to show you the one of them motherfuckers right quick. But it's funny looking at <laughs> That's how them hoes look. Ah, oh, nah, nah. I'm mad at that hoe. That's a biscuit. That's a sausage. That's like a sausage biscuit or yeah, something. Sausage bro. burger. Yeah. Yeah, nah, man. Good show, man. Shit, we, we, we had fun. Shit, I'm hungry. It's time to go eat. Peace. Hey, I got to go get me some goddamn meat, bluebell ice cream, goddamn right. meat for shit. So, salute, fam. Say, uh, 
I want first of all, let me salute to everybody in the chat, man, that came in here, man. We don't have one of no up and down shows and now y'all know Monday, man. How we do we just be chilling, man. Tuesday night we be back on that straight content, man. Uh salute to the goddamn me miles out there man for keeping my chat friend and safe man i see y'all out there having fun tonight man y'all know our motto we all we got we all we need salute to the motherfucking green team the gang gang in the game man so sal salute to any other gang that's in here man appreciate y'all coming by here and tuning in and showing the love that y'all did man if y'all haven't hit that like button hit that like button man uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel Think and cultivate the mind, opening up new roads to highways across the world. Without thought, you can't accomplish anything or become anything in life or anyone in life. Uh, keep a clear mind, keep your eyes open, and pay attention to everything and everyone, including us. Never make an excuse. Excuses are tools used by in company, and I do mean in company individuals to build monuments or nothing. Therefore, you are nothing. Dirt bad, nothing. Poo cheese, nothing. Know the limitations to your body under the tension, grass of people and things for you start dreaming after one day. And I do mean one day. Your mind will come to self cynical thought of many negative things and many negative thoughts, fam. Uh, y'all know how it's been. It's been fun. I see y'all tomorrow night. Y'all make sure y'all tune in because I'm gonna make sure it's exciting, man. And to y'all haters out there, man, rain drops. They say keep your enemies close, but I can't hang with ops on the real definition of a falling star. Yeah. Walking on tin, running on blood, don't take too much. Love is a drug. And I'm out. Keep on pushing, gang. God damn me. You will hurry up. Because my bang, son and my nephew going to murder us. Yeah. You can agree to disagree and disagree to uh, disagree. You follow the fool's plan. Oh, for shit, so. AK, all the way, mate. Y'all know what I call it. Y'all know what she is. AKA all the way, mate. Hey, Who is all the way, mate? Show. Grab some popcorn. You know what I'm saying? God no, damn. for shit, so, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying, though, man. Enjoy life. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, man.